Hello, hello. Hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm doing all right myself. Let me just unmute the game. So I can hear the game. Because I was doing something earlier where I... Had no sound. Now, we have sound and we are good to go. Kind of just exactly where we left off before. I think we were going to talk to whoever this person is. Don't see a whole lot of travelers pass through here. Easy to forget the world almost ended years ago. But there's still monsters wandering around, and the area is especially dangerous. It looks so sure. Mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. Alright. Give me one of mine. Hasty elixir. Alright, boost your movement speed while running, swimming, or climbing. Cool, cool. Uh -huh. I tell lizard and monster parts are usually a stock of ten or so on hand. Alright, cool, cool. Seems reasonable. Ow. That's a problem with this shrine. In that it is extremely aggressive. <laughs> extremely aggressive isn't going to stop me, though. The, uh... I think I just hold the B again. There we go. Okay, we're good. Now how do we get out of this? I've entered this! Now how do I get out of it? Hopefully just by finishing the shrine. Because this is going to be a problem otherwise. Water guides. Uh, what was the button again? There we go. That was the throw hammer button. If we're gonna throw anything, at least we'll move our weapon for now. There we go. Can do it from the side. Cool. All right. There we go. Haha! <laughs> Purple Ruby! Wow, that has some distance. Okay! Good to know. I'm assuming the idea is... Probably not that, but more like that. There we There we go, we got it. 
Easy puzzle, easy win, easy victory. Ta-da! The game lagged there for a second. Da -da 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 -da. Best way to climb down the staircases. It really kind of is. Two of those, seven of those, three of those, 229 rupees. Seems reasonable. When you attack ice choo choos, they explode. Use this to your advantage to freeze. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Oh, good, the spikes are gone. I was worried for a second there, that'd be a problem. Bunch of angry goats. Traveling merchant. Oh. Okay. He's right here. <laughs> All right. Sure. Oh. Oat butter, fresh milk, bird egg. I think we're good. And give me directions. Hey. Nearly destroyed a hundred years ago. Everything full of life again. Yee. <sighs> Did you not see any horses on your way here? Certainly not as many as in years past, but there's still quite a few around. Horses in the wild are well wild. No one is trained or cared for them. If you manage to catch one, let my brother Tenzin he'll register the horse for you. I'm heading to Kakariko. Hmm. Ah. Advanced techniques are most power more powerful than anything I've ever seen, but the power put them at odds with the king at the times and they were scattered across the land. Alright. Oh. Very edge of Hyrule. Ah. Okay. Hmm. A lot of monsters come out at night, so be careful of the sunsets. Yep, we know that. I don't. Ah. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse with horse companions with us, then summon them as you please from a network of stables. During your travels. If you catch one right here, Red Shrill, become your horse companion. One person can board up the five horses, and you're able to swap horses in and out as you please. Do you know how to catch a wild horse? Nope. Oh. Let's approach it from behind slowly so it doesn't notice you, then hop on. We saw a little we're talking about, so if the horse you're riding starts to act up, try soothing it. Alright. Ah. Cool, oh, cool. Mm 
naturally begin to trust you and be more obedient. Cool. All right, cool. Hey. Goodbye. Ah. I haven't seen a horse yet, so we're not cat. We haven't caught one. Talk to you. Yeah. There you go. Name's Beetle, you can call me. Actually, just stick with Beetle. But if you ever get my face, remember the Beetle shaped backpack. Wow! It's quite dangerous. You'll find me traveling all over the shopping needs. <laughs> Buy sorts of things. Jimson, fetch high price. <sighs> All right, arrows, arrows, crickets, balloons. I don't really need any arrows, so. 6, 12, 18. It doesn't even sell the pack of five at a discount. I had a scope on Miso's treasure, and it's great. Listen up, Doc. Ah. Prison, hang on. Hey, buddy, what's the problem? You aren't being incredibly rude and listening to your conversation, are you? We're treasure hunters on the trail. The latest score, the treasure of the great bandit, Misco. It's as good as ours. Ah. Pissin, you're going to give it all away. Ah. Sorry, Doc, I got carried away. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. If you need something, take it up with someone else. So the treasure. Shoot. Well, can't say I didn't try to throw them all. Why don't you just tell him? Maybe he'll leave us alone if we do. I mean, we can't. if we can't figure the riddle out, there's no way someone like him will be able to. Uh... That's a good point. We're after nothing. The treasure of Misco, the, bright, the great bandit. Finding it could, would mean incredible riches. About to do that, they may be free. No fool. Oh. That keen sense of the strongest treasure owner at work. No gold left behind. Not by Dummy Duck. You're great, Duck. Oh. It'll be under our priests to learn what we know. Truth would be steal to get this exclusive with a thousand of these. <laughs> I'll give you the hundred rupees because it's like not a problem ah. to me. Way to go, Doc, you did it. The little twin steps over the little river, my cave rests above the river's source. Where's my share button? That's my share button. There we go. It's some kind of strange secret code. Little uh, uh. twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above the river source. So a waterfall. Oh. Keep at it. Ha. Oh. <laughs> oh.
trying to figure out. Run steps over the little river. My cave rests above that wizard's source. Excuse me, what was that, Lat? Give me one second. I saw the word Xenoblade Chronic. Okay. We could go to climbing every single... ...river, but... But I have a feeling it's not up there. I guess it wouldn't hurt to check, but... I don't think it's up there, and I def definitely cannot climb that high. So we're gonna start over here. Well, throwing spear is about to get its use. A cave above a little river source. Apparently, we're also walking in the direction of a shrine. that noise. I think I see the cave. Excuse me. Oh, it's a bear. One second, one second, one second. <laughs> Oh, 
Burn! I can mount the bear! What? Excuse me. Oh, I'm gonna keep- Hello! Zinder, thank you for the resubscription! I- <laughs> Uh, rain! Fried bear, get back here, bear. I thought it was attacking me. Apparently, no, I could ride it. God, I wish there was a dodge button. <laughs> Bear Kuma. Oof. Kuma obtained. Not yet. Apparently the bear died from that. Anyway. Well, now I know I can ride bears, so that gives me, like, several ideas. Guess how you doing, Cinder? I can cook it with something. I don't know what yet, but we can figure it out. For now, we need a way up there. And our current predicament is that's not going to be easy. Stick your head up one more time. Come on. Come on. How did that miss? That's apparently as high as that'll go, so... Let's 
got it. I'm okay. A bit anxious because mom was in the car accident Friday night, but she's okay. That's good. Good to hear that, it, that she was okay. Hopefully everyone was okay in that. Yeah, it sucks when something like that happens. Alright, don't slide off the mountain. Alright, take it slow. We can't build any more ice blocks. Alright, taking it slow is the way to go. Yeah, I think I figured out the puzzle. Wait! I figured it out. Sweet. Sapphire. Boom and stone. Amber. Well, that was the treasure. <laughs> now about the shrine. Oh, it's over there. I see it. This is what was what we call in going to be very interesting. So let's move that there, and then we can swim to it from here. And then from this thing... Ta-da! Total Sa Apparatus. What the ever loving hell? Okay. It's the gimmick apparatus. I see I'm gonna hate the I'm gonna hate this already. It requires motion controls. We got the shield of the mind die though. Never mind. Now we have the shield of the mind eye. Look at it. It's very mind eyeful.
Good enough. Now... God, I hate this. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Already. Sort my controller out. Never mind. Someone somewhere is like, hey, do you think they need to reset their controller? And it's like, no. Well, someone was like, do you think they'll need to reset their controller? And someone was like, yeah, probably. Well, too bad. They have to f fucking suffer. Good enough. Now. I don't care how I get the chest, as long as I get the chest. going to murder the person who designed this. Whoever thinks putting motion controls as a gimmick in their game is a good idea deserves to have their hands cut off. Because that's what it feels like you're doing. That feels like what happens to your hands when you're trying to do anything with motion controls. You're slowly ripping your hands off. Am I supposed to hit the X button? There we go. Do I hit the X button to cancel out of this? I'm like, how? <laughs> Do you not see how I am holding the controller to get it into that position? I know you're probably dead, but can I kill you again for designing this shit? Resourcefulness speaks to how you are. I, this should be worth eight spirit orbs. Because that was the worst one yet. <laughs> You do not realize how awful that felt to do.
horses. And an enemy camp. I'm coming for you. I like how the game let me get hit before letting me pull out my weapon. Ha 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 ha. Ow. I'm holding... So using the spear to cook fish, that's actually very clever. Ooh! Ten arrows. those horses go. Ooh, what's that? Damn it! I think he got away. That's unfortunate. Is that deer wearing a shirt? I think I found it again. I think I have no choice but to kill it. Now where did that deer with the shirt go? I hate to turn off the motion controls. They are ruining my aim. Now, camera motion controls off. Off.
Trying to aim where it's going isn't exactly easy. Come on. Explosive arrows. That worked. Ragnarok's going crazy. Hello. How you doing? Well, that solved my issue. I wasted 12 arrows, which I can probably get back, honestly. Let me just go figure out where I shot them all. Uh, I don't know how people aim with motion controls, because literally, it, it, all it was doing was throwing my aim off. That's one of them. As I always say, motion controls are the worst thing you could ever have in your game, and this game pretty much proves that fact. I'm not sure I'm finding those arrows. I think some of them got hit stuck in trees based on the tree branches. I'm guessing my only solution to figuring that out is kill it. But I kind of don't want to kill it. That's my problem there. I see a green horse. I want the green horse. Got him! Yeah, that's what it's all about. Got ourselves a green horse. Z 
BL. Interesting. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, I didn't notice you. A bit lost of thought here. Figure out the mystery of that blood moon. Blood moon? No. You don't know it? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For 100 years now, every so often, when the clock strikes midnight, the sun turns red and a full moon rises. Monsters that have been previously defeated will come back to life. Oh. And that is one known as a blood moon. Why do monsters, why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one would really answer those questions. It's a mysterious oh. phenomenon. Alright. Ideally, we'll be able to eventually end a blood So we're gonna run into a blood moon. That'll be fun. Register my horse. Mm? You sure this is the one? Low strength, high speed, high stamina, wild temperament. No problem. Alright. Sure. Oh. Isn't uh, Link's horse called Epona? So this will be our Epona. Why did a uh, B? E. What the hell's going? Why? Okay. Why is that? What? What is? Click. Japanese. I'm confused. What? <laughs> Oh, that was my controller button. I am very confused. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that was the name of uh, Link's horse, isn't it? And you know what? It's a pretty damn good horse. Sure. By the way, if you can separate your horse, you whistle and they'll come running back. Alright, press down on the D-pad, okay, whist. I can't hear you too far away, so keep that in mind. Great! My, it's an image my roommate made. I'm like looking at this. I'm like, the hell is this? Apparently my roommate took a lot of screenshots of the games he was playing. That's me. This one's also me. That's also me. Apparently he took a picture of the, uh, this screen. Brokey. Why is this here? I'm confused. Oh hey, they finally upped the character count after a thousand years. Oh, my bad. I saw Y and I pressed X.
Sniffles. That's my cat's name. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. That'll get off X. <laughs> I've been to Dueling Peaks. <laughs> hmm. Alright, cool, cool. Oh, no. oh. I've already solved it. <laughs> huh? You're lying. Ah? Definitely lying. Huh. No way I recollect you solved that puzzle before, Dak. Not a chance. Tell this guy to beat it, Dak. I'm trying to think. He doesn't want to believe it, but w once he figures it out, he's going to be so upset. By the way, that might be a problem for me later. Uh, we'll figure that out. I'm sure it will 100% be a massive problem. Oh, R.I.P. that bird. What the hell was that music? Throwing the horse, the horse controls so weirdly. Shakalaka laka. Shakalaka laka. Shakalaka laka. You. You can see me. I can see you. <laughs> Shalaza Shalaka. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hetsu. And I need your help. As monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. I think they're still on there on the other side of those rocks. I can't, use, I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back from them. All right, no issue whatsoever. That shouldn't be a concern. That's not what I meant to do, but it was funny. <sighs> oh, 
gonna burn down half of this location. I do appreciate fire propagation. It was always, you know, one of those things I liked about uh, Far Cry 2. And no other Far Cry has really done it like Far Cry 2 since. Hi. Shalaka! Those are, those are my maracas! Please give them to me! Shalaka! Oh wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The coral seeds inside it. How am I supposed to dance? Just one girl that I can sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You seem to have the power of inventory expansion. Uh, okay, see so ya. Yeah, okay. Must have taken her seeds, my woman. But wait! Do you have Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. I'll make your inventory, please. There, you okay. Shalaka! Weapon stash. Oh yeah! Shaky shaka! Cool. One! KV1! Da na 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 na! Yeah, more weapons, please. Just need two cork seeds. Okay. Yeah. As entertaining as that dance is, just we'll do it the next time we come back here. I assume we're just gonna be running into Koroks. All right. Look at the time. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me. Sorry about that, go. Any Korok seeds? Uh, Korok forest. All right. Korok forest. It should be somewhere north of here. Grandpa told me if you get lost, follow the Helia River and continue north. All right. Who are you? Uh, I suppose I'll tell you a little something about myself. My name is Hetsu, the most celebrated musician of Korok Forest. Shalaka la la. Do you want to talk some more? Korok seeds. Korok seeds come from the Korok children. They are a little bit. Sorry, I blew out my voice singing. Do you want to talk more? They look like poop. And he knows exactly that. Go ahead, Mom. Cool.
What's going on? Travel, I'm sorry, but it seemed to twist my ankle. Let's see here. I'm sorry I had to see you like that. Say, Traveler. Where did you get that object came from your waist? Uh, well, you see... Ah, he explains. Cool. Oh, yeah, we're just doing this in the rain. Yes, I see. The Sheikah Slate is a symbol. Means you're a hero of legend. Though there are a few no such legends anymore. But we Sheikah have lo been waiting for you a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet with our leader, Lady Impa. Where is she? Landon falls over there. Oh. I suppose that you're used to that, having lived here long as you have. Armor shop, in general stores. Weird seeing armor shops in Zelda because that's not I know yeah. Zelda had its stores. Ooh. Rain or shine. Enchanted. Right this way. <laughs> You're totally my type. Hi. Oh, oh. You even have a Sheikah slate in your head. Huh? Wait. Huh? A Sheikah slate? Isn't that like an incredible thing that only people people can have? Ah. I don't know. But it seems you're a great deal more important than you appear. Ah. Ah. My high end boutique. We're exclusively stock special garments of the Clary collection. In fact, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. We also buy anything. Clary collection? As in, a high-end collection curated by me, Clary! But of course, <laughs> I personally selected each and every item. And here, using my flawless fashion sense. Highly recommended, each item has its own unique features and abilities, so take a good look. <laughs> Alright. Stone that could be used to make special clothing. So we don't want to sell that. Came the very essence of ice. That doesn't... Now this game has me wanting me to look something up. Which is exactly what I'm going to do.
Okay, it's used in armor upgrades. Good to know. All right, that'll be something to know in the future. And it, and it can also be gained in uh, some useful ways, so I'm not going to worry too much if I end up selling some. <laughs> no, I am leaving. All right. Light, it's sturdy fabric, doesn't limit movement, so... That's currently what I'm wearing. Oh, hello. It's a limited edition, enchanted exclusive. Nearly soundless. Ah. Small price or extra stealth. It's the low defense, high stealth. Read. Who loves gossip the most solid uh, three meals a day? There she is. Top gossip spot, the lover pond. Interesting. Well, I need a helmet. I don't have a helmet currently. I have the Hylian trousers. So let's go over my armor real quick. So we have the wind Dublay, the Hylian trousers. Yep, give me the hood. <laughs> now we have some more defense on our head. Three, six, seven. Yes, I want to sell. Such reminder and hydrate again. Okay. Noisy kitty. I'm being yelled at. Ugh. There we go. Hydrated. I know you're fat and lazy, but can you be fat and lazy slightly to the left? Let's sell 15 of these. Sell 15 of these, because we'll get plenty of them. sell six of these. <laughs> sure. I'm sure we can find it somewhere else, but like at the same time, I don't care. A little extra defense never hurts, right? Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a Sheikah Slate? But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have the, heard the legend from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead. Step inside. I will in a second. What about the apples? I'm going to take them off. Hi. 
A man! <laughs> huh? Is that... It's a Sheikah slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? Um, what was his name? Name, name, um... Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Papa Paya. Oh, my name is Paya. <gasps> Phew, I got it out. Please, I know. I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. S I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been awaiting your return ever since I was little. P please hurry inside. So, you're finally awake. Dark Souls reference. It has been quite a long Actually, no. time, That's... Link. I am much older. No, now. Skyrim. But God, I'm tired. You remember me, don't you? She sounds like something out of out of Dark Souls, though. <laughs> How would I know you? Huh? What is the? Why do you stop talking? Though I am a stranger to you, those eyes—they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, Courageous One Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name, Impa. Oh, I see. So you've lost your memory. Oh. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Oh. A hundred years ago. Oh. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she was entrust she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I've been waiting a hundred years to deliver this prin the princess's message. Oh. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you're still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Well, I can't progress the game any other way, so... I am. <laughs> huh. Not a memory to your name, yet you are intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Oh. Very well. Since you've lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. It's weird how this game goes from voice acting none back to voice acting. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. 10,000 years, damn. Okay, which Zelda are we talking about? Ocarina? Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Twilight Even Princess? the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. 
The divine beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. All right. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the divine beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Absolutely wrecked. Sounds like it would have been a very boring game. Well, uh, that's Ganon, he's dead. <laughs> Yeah. A hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors in 10,000 years prior. Aww. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Oh. Free, the free the four divine beasts. That's what she said. Four divine beasts? Four design beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the champions who Ganon defeated. The Vine Beast Valroda is controlled by Derek of Ugrons. Rivali of the Rito. Rivali! That's the one voiced by Sean Shiplock. All right? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I thought Rivali would have a bigger role in this game, but no, he's dead. Divine Beast Valroda, controlled by Mifa of the Zora. And divide these von Nebros of the Nebros of the Gerudo. Oh. Extreme will advise to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beast to help you. you. Must infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away by Ganon a hundred years ago and bring them back to our side. To be found locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. All right. <laughs> For either the Divine Beasts. Also, your memory. Mm -hmm. now, let's see. Someone at the research lab and I might be able to tell you. Okay. Oh. Easter eggs. Okay. Cool, cool. My cat's holding my arm. It's all very cute. Your Princess Zelda's only hope. And Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now, follow your heart, and seize your destiny. Seek out info completed. Anything else you want to say, or real huh. good? No? That's just you best to be glad, though. Alright. 10,000 years ago. Oh, I don't want to hear it again. I was just, like, checking something. Stop, 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 stop. Cool. Alright. Oh. Oh. Alright, cool. Yeah. Read. Three years ago. Decided to put a lone swords in, long sleep, prepare a flight, the told legend. Alright. Just casually bird reading other people's diaries. As one does. Hi. 
Master Link. Uh. Doesn't matter. But anyway. What's that ball? Uh. Price what? Do you want to know about it? She Heirloom? It's long protected. The hero, as chosen by the Sheikh Heirloom, gripped the blessing of antiquity. Hero is choking by the shit. Could it be? Please don't hesitate to let me know if you have a service. This village. Mm. We Sheikah have long served the royal family of Hyrule in secret. During the great calamity of a hundred years ago, the royal family was destroyed and members of her tribe scattered. Sadly, there's some who swore allegiance to Ganon at that time. They joined together as the Yiga clan, seeking out all who opposed Ganon, cutting them down one after another. Now that you're awake, you were surely the most formidable opponent to stand against them. No doubt they will come for you, employing whatever underhanded methods they can devise. Mm. But of course, if there's anything to do to help at all, all I do is ask. Oh. The Great Fairy Kotera! You know this, but this village was built under a watchful eye. This is a uh, sacred protection. I said to seek her out. Shrine that overlooks the village is where you should seek her. Alright. What's your story? You I me. You wanna know my story? Well, my name is Paya. The reason I'm named Paya is because I have a birthmark shaped like a papaya seed. <laughs> Where is it? Really? Well, it's kinda Master Link. I advise you change the subject. Yeah, I'll I'll answer Sunday just not today. He's on his date. Okay. All right, let's try the other one. Really? And well, in any case, who's so has it? Okay. I guess that's all we have to say. Oh. All right, fine. I will not touch your heirloom yet. I will be back to touch your heirloom, trust me. Now! Graveyard. Not mean to do that. Let's climb the mountain. My cat's doing a rest. Be free! <laughs> The village get upset if I drop the tree on their village. Doesn't look like it. All right. <laughs> Questions that no one should ever ask. <laughs> should the village get upset if I drop the tree on them? <laughs> Categories. Oh. Looks so old and happy. Talonog teaching. What are you teaching me, Talonog? Uh, hi. 
sword! I too have a sword. How do you side half? Okay, target enemy, strafe and jump. Oh, okay. Backflip the void enemy tax, okay. Now we're making the combat seem interesting. So far the combat has been not that great. There we go. You can repel an enemy tax, the barrier shield just right time. timing. Might be good to equip a weapon I can block with. B. My bad. <laughs> Alright. Build up your power and the release and unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Alright. Guardian sword. Ooh. You've done well. Now proceed. I'm okay. I'm glad you taught me this. This actually makes the combat slightly interesting. Like my problem with the combat so far is that you couldn't really dodge. It turns out there wasn't really much- What the fuck is that? A dodge mechanic. Field of the mind's eye. Oh, my inventory. Maybe I should buy more shield slots. Either way, doesn't really matter. Da -da 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 -da. Opal. Hi there. It's a prophecy of ruin from the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. Okay. In the name of the gods, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Alright, usual. Hello, Oscar, how you doing? Got ourselves our fifth spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you. Actually, it'll be our ninth spirit orb, but fifth for now. I'm glad the game pointed me at this. Now I know what I need to... Now I know how the combat system works. Instead of just fumbling through, I'll be able to fight enemies now. In a more reasonable way. 
Because apparently this combat system decided it wanted to take a lot of inspiration from Bayonetta. And I am here for that. I was like, when did I die? And like, how did I die over there? I'm like, oh yeah, that's where the Great Plateau is. <laughs> It made good progress to exploring the map. That's always good. It's a lot smaller than I thought it'd be. It'll be interesting how they, uh... Increase the map size with... Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom is gonna be using the same map, so that'll be fun. Ideally, it won't fall into that same, that same problem I had with Horizon Forbidden West, where... I just wasn't having that same sense of awe and exploration. <laughs> the awe and excitement about finding something new. Because I like that about Zero... I like Horizon Zero Dawn, just for like, Ooh, what's this? What's this? You know, just the surprise of finding something new and interesting from the old world. Where Forbidden West didn't exactly have that outside of like, maybe a grand total of Two, two, three times. That's mainly Las Vegas, San Francisco, and, well, the entrance to the Forbidden West. Be free! The burning shore was also kind of neat. But oh, oh, I can tell you trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Ega Clan? Ega Clan? Oh. What? You don't know? Fine, I'll tell you. The Ega Clan, it's... A powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero long... thought long dead. I will take your life. Hi there. Great job there. Mighty bananas. All right, good to know that's a thing that can happen.
The second he said Yiga Clan, I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> I'm like, oh boy. It's like, what's going on? Oh boy. Oh, good to know that's something I'm gonna have to deal with. Nothing. I definitely don't want to shoot one of those. Oop, I hit him in the head somehow. Good shot. <laughs> easy fight, easy win, easy victory. Soldier shield. Probably incredibly comfortable sniffles, but your your elbow hurts. Our guardians around here. Ancient screw. We're gonna raid them all. Bonk. 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 Oh no, you don't.
<laughs> Caught a frog. Oh, this one's still alive. Oh no, you don't. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, you don't. Oh yeah, please. Okay, we're good. Ooh, what's that? Not so sneaky. It's just a really satisfying noise. <laughs> I can perfect block their attack, can I? I'm thinking about that, I'm like, wait, I can... I could probably perfect block. And launch their attack back at them. Horseman. Horseman. <laughs> Man on horse. I just watched that fire explode. <laughs> We should go say hi to the man on the horse. Mornings are the worst. Ooh. Finding new fashions in the places you visit. I love discovering them. You wind up and they have some favorite clothes of it. Alright. That's a you problem. Uh -huh. Legendary horses? It's only... One of each, but I took some liberties in making musical. That's my slightly highlighted son, Legendary Horses. Okay. What happens if I perfect the perfect parry a guardian attack? That's an interesting question. One that I might just be about to find out the answer to. You don't look dead, but you are dead, thankfully. amount of ancient screws I'm getting. This is a good idea to just run around here and grab shit.
No, I was thinking about horses. Because all of a sudden Red Dead Redemption came to mind. I was specifically thinking about the horses in Red Dead. The first game. And sometimes they just keel over and die. The younger me realized that if they had happened to get shot, they'd eventually die from the injury, which is a really neat and exceptionally annoying detail. I'm assuming the same is true for Red Dead 2. Yeah. Come to see for... Once in life, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how many similarities Horizon Horizon Zero Dawn in this game share because my god. The coincidences are sometimes hilarious. Army of machines battling against a fortress. The only difference is humanity lost in Zero Dawn. Completely and utterly lost. To the point of, well, extinction. Everyone died. No one survived. But Breath of the Wild, they managed to survive. There were no survivors in Horizon. Zero Dawn was their only hope, and it succeeded, but the problem was... Everyone still died. And you're essentially the hero of legend reborn to save the world once again. At least three separate times. We cannot eat the screw. That's good to know. No, don't walk that way. Don't walk that Don't walk that way. As much as you would like to walk on my stomach, I don't want you stabbing my stomach with your nails. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know I know how you are, Sniffles, and I am not dealing with that right now. <clears throat> At least you'll stab my leg, though, without issue. See what we make. <laughs> Energizing steamed meat. Cool. Made steamed clams. Honestly, if there's something Forbidden West and Zero Dawn did better, it was calling over your mount. also <laughs> as I thought <laughs> I was kind of expecting that Come 
Goodbye. More mighty bananas. Hi there. <laughs> Add a pitchfork. Add a pitchfork. Where did that guy go I just saved? Ooh. Hey, the name's Telly. I'm a bit of a treasure hunter. To get my drift? Uh, you find four? Oh, let's see what I can tell you about that place. Um, nothing really comes to mind. Hey, question for you. Do you have any interest in garden rains? Yeah. <laughs> so you sell guardian remains. Which I have a lot of as is. Yeah, a fuck ton. Ooh. And I could even... What do you buy guardian remains for? So you sell them for more than you're willing to buy them for. I guess that makes sense. Ooh. And he only has one of each, whereas I have 30 of each. Yep. Oh, R.I.P. that bird in particular. How <laughs> long before the horse becomes my friend and lets me, you know, ride it like a normal? Uh, probably a while. Eightfold blade. What the hell are they beating up? Hi! What? Oh shit. <laughs> Why is YouTube so far behind? Give me a second. Stretch. It's still far behind, but I pause. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom.
I am Brick. Brick am I? We're gonna go... Wow, that was loud. Uh, beat up a guy in the face. Oh, not like that. How far back is this? Oh, stop, stop, stop! S Jesus! <laughs> Cat! God. Who am I? Oh, good. It's before this guy again. Alright. Let's kick their ass. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Back here. Jesus. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't think those would explode when you hit it, because I'm used to them exploding when you shoot them with fire. I didn't think hitting also counted. take damage by rolling down hills. Okay, then. I'm not sure if that makes sense. No, I've got this. I'm just confused as to what killed me. Now I have to listen to the stupid ladies stupid talk about fish for the eighth time.
<laughs> Damn it. That wasn't close enough. Good to know. Got him. <laughs> Eventually, but I got him. Ah, I love you too, fat boy. I go to bed. Da -da 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 We roasted an acorn in that mess. I guess that isn't too surprising. Big explosion, huge success leads to flaming acorns. And baked apples. And a slightly upset cat. That was wildly entertaining, though. I was waiting until my uh, stamina regens, then try swimming across the lake. As exciting the idea of drowning is and all. That's not what I was trying to change there, but whatever game. Ow. I survived that. Question for you. 
How do you know the weather gets extreme, like too hot or too cold? Change your outfit to match the temperature. Pack spare clothes change your clothes when you're exploring. <laughs> Goodbye. I feel like we're making the roots safer. Just ever so slightly bit safer. And before, you know, of course, the blood moon arrives. But! It's safer. For the minute. <laughs> oh, that actually works. If only it would, you know, hit the, the thing I'm trying to launch that. Oh, I don't have a bow. Clip. That's a problem. Okay. Bonk. I have no idea what's in this lake currently, so... But I do see a chest over there. So, let's go... Purple rupee. You know what? That was worth the effort. Armored carp. Apparently, we killed the carp. 
I would apologize, but no. Curiosity, would this river connect to something? Who knows? What I do know is I see a chest there. Punk. Hi there. Space Paradise, how you doing? Thank you. I'm one of that rare breed that you see that hasn't exactly played this game, experiencing it for somewhat of the first time. I did a, I did a side test on uh, Master Mode and decided, yeah, no, that's not a good idea. Essentially got to the uh the whole <laughs> find the four thingamaboobs shrines on Master Mode and I'm like, yeah no, that wasn't that wasn't the best idea. And then went back then just started a new playthrough on this mode for stream. Which has gone a thousand times smoother than that master mode attempt. I mainly wanted to do Master Mode because I had heard that the Master Sword has durability, with the exception of Master Mode. Can't carry any more melee weapons? Hmm. What can I throw away? I'm like, I don't want the Master Sword to have durability, so I'm gonna do- so I'm gonna try a playthrough on Master Mode, but I'm going to test it before I stream that idea. And I'm like, yeah, no, that was a- it was a very good idea to test this. Give me some time to learn the game first, then come back to Master Mode later. Ugh. That looks shootable. I like how I was trying to move my controller up the aim and then I remembered, oh yeah, I disabled it. I disabled that. Because it was actually throwing off my ability to aim. <laughs> Number two. Nice. Hi there. That's not the weapon I. <laughs> Hi, he's throwing his friend's head. Master mode is weird. It's absolute hell at first, but very shortly thereafter it becomes pointless. With the very beginning gear, it's pain, but you quickly stop noticing any difference with even the slightly better gear. Hi, Karu, how you doing? So I'll have to come back to it later and uh, experience that for myself. It's hell, I'm assuming, if you just don't know the game. 
and I didn't really know what I was getting myself into when I decided to start a side thing on Master Mode. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I could beat up these guys. No, I could not. <laughs> oh, he just throws his friend's head. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> oh, hi. Ow! There's no way to treat the person who's about to beat you up. Also, the Master Sword still has durability in either mode, so that's not a reason to bother with it. Oof. <laughs> what has upset my horse? Maybe a tree. <laughs> I'm babysitting cats right now. Ah. I'm also babysitting a 23-year-old cat, right, Sniffles? He's deaf, so he has no way to answer what I just said, but... I understand the soothe mechanic entirely outside of just soothe the horse. And I'm honestly not sure if it's worth breaking these. RIP my bow. Breaking those was a horrendous idea. <laughs> oh, it's the Blood Moon. Link. Link. Be on your guard. Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the Blood Moon. By its glow, the aimless spirits of monsters slain in the name of the light. Return to flesh. Link, please be careful. I'm not standing in a good position because there are monsters right where I am standing. Oh boy. Uh, hi. I'm sorry I killed you before. Ow. Uh, understandable. Uh, what? Where did I ha have this? Uh. <laughs> How does the boomerang work? Let's find out. Well, that didn't come back to me. Ow. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because he was already more or less dead. I'm gonna beat him up with a hoe. Bonk. Get back here. Ow. You. You. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Let me heal up before I die doing this. Come on, I've got this. Now. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I won't 
So I guess I just won't bother with Master Mode at all unless I like this game enough to try it again. I like how this game's been a really good test of my of the Switch Pro controller thing I bought. The 8 bit do Ultimate Controller. Though I accidentally inverted my back buttons. <laughs> my brain, when setting back buttons, forgot that B is A and A is B. But my... How is that? Oh, it's really good. I was using it for more than the Switch originally, because you can use it on the Xbox and PlayStation using their, uh... remote play stuff. And it worked pretty well. It's like, I like this better than both the Xbox and PlayStation controller. And now I'm getting to properly use it on the Switch, and it works very well. Like the, uh... Including... Let me re-enable this real quick, because I disabled it, because I absolutely hated this. But, like, this was... Oh, oh I need to get... I'm trying to jump off the horse. Oh, aim. Yeah, like the, uh, motion controls. They, they work very well. I just don't like them. <laughs> and both the analog sticks feel great. Not the weird issue I had with the... GameCube one. Because there was... Which one? Game... Oh yeah, it was the... The Hori GameCube controller. Where everything was weird about it. It's like, this is the best controller I own outside of the Elite controller. And unlike the Elite controller, the analog sticks won't drift. <laughs> At least for ten years. Yeah, it's a really good controller. I just need to fix the back buttons because I accidentally bound B and A to the wrong sides. <laughs> because it's going off the... It's going off what I was using it for, uh... Xbox and PlayStation things. And also on PC. But yeah, easily the best controller you could buy for sixty dollars. Bonk. <laughs> Aww! I wanted you to fall off the cliff. That would have been funny. Ooh. Oh, let me make sure to disable the, uh... There we go. I know it helps some people, but my hands are too shaky, so it always throws off my aiming when I'm trying to not use it. Someone needs help? Question mark? You're one of those guys, aren't you? Let me heal up first, and then I'm going to get into my fight with you. Alright. How are you- Oh. Oh, maybe you aren't. Why did I sneak up on you? I was walking. This might actually be... people I am helping? Question mark? They have a name. Okay, they're actual real people, not the clan. We're traveling all over to find hearty truffles. I know, I know, it's dangerous for two folk to travel on their own these days. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> but when I think about the one... How wonderful those truffles taste. All the worries and warnings melt away. Yeah, your friend over here is near death. Where the hell are- where the hell did they go? I can't believe- yeah! I told Nat that our luck would run out and 
about five minutes flat if we went truffle hunting here. But when those visions of rupees start dancing in her head, there's no getting through to her anymore. <laughs> Less talking, more hunting. Remember, Megan, nobody goes home until we find those hearty truffles. Aww. Sigh. <laughs> Uh, she's right. The sooner we find those truffles, the sooner this will all be over with. Maybe just go home. I think you'd do better for your health if you did. Oh, hi. We're chasing a boar over here. That was easy. <laughs> I should look for the shrine. So it's up here, okay. We made it somewhere. Antenna. <laughs> Ooh, who are you? I demand answers. If you're up this late, you're probably up to no good. I'm a traveler. Mm -hmm. You certainly do appear to be a Hylian, like the rest of us. Hylians are generally good folk. So, sorry for getting all worked up. Damn, the racism! Man's racial profiling. You're free to go. We're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, the life of a traveler. Well, you can get most things you need at the general store. And the inn is just back there. What if I wasn't a Highland? Would he have stabbed me? I see the uh, shrine that my thing oh, has been beeping about. Of course, that's where I'm going. These are weird houses. <laughs> Mayam Agna Shrine. I've either said that correctly or horribly mispronounced it. Oh, another good thing about this controller, the charging dock that it comes with is really nice. Just being able to, you know, I always forget to charge controllers. Just being able to put it down and it's charged is, all, is really nice. It all, again, all of that for 60 bucks. Charging dock and the best controller you could get on the Switch. I offer this trial. Good for you. This... Oh... This is a motion control trial. Yay! My favorite! God. I don't care how good a controller is, doing anything with motion control sucks. At least it looks like I don't need to flip this upside down this time, question mark? Just skip this whole thing. Ah, so close. We almost had it. Almost. Oop. <laughs> we'll get it eventually. <laughs> Why didn't I think of this? Because it's mildly inconvenient to hold your controller upside down and uncomfortable. <laughs> eh. You know what? Better idea. Oop, I don't know. Eh. Like, they knew what they, they were doing. But it will. 
That, which side of the controller is that? Okay, that's the right side. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to beat it this way because screw these motion controls. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna go back to the corner idea because it was easier to hold the controller like that. <laughs> Breath of the Wild spoilers. Motion controls, my favorite spoiler. <laughs> How you doing, Smeagol? God. Once you figure out how this is in, how this is controlled, yeah. So if we turn it like that, and then go like this, there, there we go. Oh, uh, uh, God. Good. Playing best of the, we'll probably actually, can't actually watch. Ah. Uh. That's fair. I'm still at the start of the game, so you're not really getting spoiled for much. You know what? I'm just gonna do this the normal way. As absolutely ridiculous as that was, uh... Why is this, like, inverted? I've realized my problem with this. It's... Controls weird. I haven't gotten out of the first area. Ah! Well, that's not that bad of a... Okay, so if we mark like that and like that, then... You know what? I'm gonna go back to trying to flip the thing into the area. We'll get it eventually, right? Oh, I have a... Oh, I just thought of something that's gonna... God, today, and who thought this was a good idea over just using the right analog stick? <laughs> so if we get it stuck there... Almost had it. Ah! It's so close! having fun. Motion controls suck, but I'm having fun. Oh! Ah!
I'm holding the controller with one hand. This has made this slightly easier. Now, if I could only tell... If only the camera coincided with the way I'm holding um, the controller. That's what's making this so difficult. Audio only the stream. Sounds good. Okay, so that's the right side. It's probably taking me about as long as doing the puzzle normally, but at the same time, I don't like this. I don't like that this puzzle exists, so therefore I'm going to abuse it. Let's cancel that. I'm going to... Quickly... Controllers... That's not how you do that. I want to calibrate this controller because I haven't done that yet. Okay. Place the controller on a flat, stable surface. What do I got for that? This table. There we go. Okay. I'm using... Well, at least you have the ability to emulate the motion controls with an analog stick or your mouse. <laughs> Alright, so now that we got this calibrated... Oh yeah, that made it a little easier. There we go! Ah! Oh yeah, perspective is uh, not on my side. Yeah, perspective really isn't on my side here. Got it! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I needed to recalibrate the controller, but we got it in the end. Let me also fix the thing. There we go. <laughs> and I, I'll hide the right. But yeah, I... I fucking envy you and your Simu. Your use of Simu, because that would make this so much easier. <laughs> oh, I see the ever so slight problem with my idea. I need to, uh, tilt it. Yeah, I just needed to calibrate the controller. That made things a little easier. <laughs> that was the problem I was running into. Remember, kids, calibrate your controllers. <laughs> it will save your life in the le in the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Now, I can go a little lower. 
There we go. <laughs> I'm either going to get this or I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion a little lower. Uh, that's how you solve a puzzle. I'm just impressed. I'm just impressed they let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you don't like the puzzle? Just flip the entire puzzle upside down. That should be low enough. Probably going to die coming back, but that's fine. It will spawn me off of this hell. Oh hey, I didn't have an inventory full of bows for once. Alright, so I can't get back off that way, but I could probably use an alternative pathway. Maybe. I am operating on a lot of wishful thinking here. Okay, that worked. The reward for this understatement of the millennium. completely cheesed your puzzle because it sucked. And I never want to talk to you again. Unless it's on the end of my knife. Other way! Cat. Oh, My lazy boy is being lazy. On my leg. I should go to that tower at some point. So I have an idea of what I'm trying to do. Or where, mainly, mainly where I'm trying to go. You know, that's something I appreciate about Breath of the Wild. It's that the towers aren't your first idea of a location to go to. Yeah. Hungry to have his clothes dyed. Okay. We've got a clothes dyer. Horizon Forbidden West had these people. <laughs> and it was kind of annoying. Because he had to find a bunch of ingredients to do it. Oh. I see where Horizon Forbidden West got the, the system. You need to... F Yay. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Additional crap on Tail Village. In the past day, we'd use past day days past. We'd use our own prepared dye ingredients, but these days there's so many monsters about that it's difficult for us to gather ingredients. That's why we switched to the customer bringing us the dye ingredients, and in return we have a small service charge, <laughs> and it's just twenty rupees. So now. Now, I'll dye your clothes the color of your choosing for 20 rupees. That includes all consulting fees, all right? Sure. All the clothes are borrowing at once, okay. Choose the color. Do we actually have the ingredients for these? Black is the night. Flint! Alright. 
Well, at least this is a bit more reasonable than Horizon Forbidden West system. <laughs> uh, perfect. Ta da! Downright, but new set of dubs makes. You're looking very chic. I think it looks good. That seems like a, such a... You know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna accept it. I love talking. Who do you like? I love my mommy. But my mommy, she's always talking with her friend. You're not supposed to interrupt them. The only way I've been able to talk to her is when she's with... When she's with her friend to sneak up from behind. Talk more. What do you like to do? I like catching bugs. Shiny bugs. Crouch down and quietly approach the bug. And if you do, you'll catch that bug. Talk more. <laughs> what do you like? I wa want shiny jewels. Shiny money. Love. Huh? Mister? What is it? You have sapphire. Sell it. Be rich. <laughs> It's something I definitely thought of. I was trying to talk to you. Did he come from the big wide world? You look like a good with the bow and the sword, so you must be pretty strong. Are you strong or what? I am. They yeah, swords of different weapons, right? So, do you want to help a kid's dream come through? My gramps is dead now, but when he was alive, he loved weapons. Though, he never got to see all the ones he wanted. So bring me weapons and show them to me. And then, uh, I could tell gramps about him. When I meet him again. Ooh. Yeah, I know you do it. Should we start? <laughs> traveler sword. Alright. Do we have a traveler sword on us at the moment? I tend to have a decent amount of them, but unfortunately not at this moment. Hello, Ryan. I'm a soldier speaker. The weapon kind of sword. Alright. I see heavy armor. The armor I'm currently wearing. So... It's an increase to... F really? It's only four? And the warm duble if I need another one. So it'll slow me down. I'm guessing that's what it means by added weight. Hi there. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Everyday clothes, armors for soldiers. We have it at Ventest Clothing. Do you need something? Do you like this corner? <laughs> oh! Am I nestled too far in the corner? Is it hard to see me? I know it's a little weird, but I just feel more confident over here. Do you need anything else? What is this place? Um. Hold on just a second. Okay. Let me see here. Thank you for waiting. We're a clothing shop with lots of apparel to choose from. Normal wear to adventure wear. You'll find it where? Right here. Did you need anything else? I think I'm good. But all that's good information to know. I think. Yeah, my cat's cleaning his butt, but he doesn't have a lot of space. So he's trying to push my leg out of his way. So this was the dye shop. This is oh, general, just general goods. Fish milk, sorry truffle, endurance room, egg, rice, bomb arrows if we need them, and normal arrows. Hi there. Ooh. Oh, a customer. I didn't even hear you come in. Sorry about that. I trust everything is as I left it. Oh. Alrighty. So what can I do for you? Who are you? No. Wanna know who I am? Well, you can just call me Pruce. I'm the shopkeeper of East Wind here. Everyone in 
Hatano Village is pretty friendly, so don't be shy about striking up conversations with the locals. Need anything else? Came here to buy. Oh. Want to buy something? Just walk right up and select it. Goodbye. Ah, oh. oh, I can't read this. I thought it was something to read, but no, it's just uh, scribbles on a wall. So we at least found Hatano Village. Hi. Yeah. Hello. What great weather. <laughs> the Eastman General Store is open and lively inside is out here. Let's take a look. Eh, it wasn't that lively. But yeah. We need to go there. So let's head over there. <laughs> While keeping an eye out for any more red. Quotation marks. Aggressive butt cleaning. <laughs> the life of a cat for ya. One decade or another, my horse will get up here. Either that or I'll finish running up this hill. I'm assuming Mr. Scientist Man is up there. Again, if there's something Horizon Forbidden... Both Horizons games do better, it's calling your mount. I, I get the... realism and all that, but, like... If it's realistic. No soliciting! A realism just gets in the way of fun. Mind the lanterns? What if I want to light your lanterns? It's... Well, my horse gave up. Enter at your own risk. Do not flay it. If the flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not touch. I'm guessing there's been a lot of issues with people touching his furnace. Hi there. Hello. This is Hatano Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? That's right. The director is in the back. A terrible busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Well, I'm about to take up all of his time. About Sheikah Sensor, author Simon. The Sheikah Sensor is one of the basic runes found on the Sheikah Slab. If it senses an ancient shrine containing a hero trial nearby, it will lead you there by emitting a series of sounds. The interval between sounds shortens the closer you get to a shrine. To stop searching for your object of choice, set the Sheikah Sensor on your map to off. Hello! I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well... Oh. Hmm, is that... That thing on your waist, is that a Sheikah? Oh. There's no mistaking it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis, ah, uh, Magnesis, yes, yes. The remote bomb and Crinosis, and what else? Let's see. So that's it for runes, but hmm, strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, where's my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are Link, right? You know my name. <laughs> Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see... We were told the young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. We will be the hope that awakens... He will be the hope that awakens the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. 
Director. Listen, Mrs. Director, this is a real Sheikah slate. Oh, oh that's right. I haven't introduced our director. Ah, Mrs. Purr happens to be right over there. Damn, I joined back in some spoilers. <laughs> uh, it's... You, you know you're the hero, Link. Didn't realize anyone was... It's, of course people are gonna be alive. The Avali voice. There's always a group of people everywhere. You got the, the big rolly boys, you got these guys, you got the watery boys. I don't know if the watery boys are in this or they if they became the birds. It's weird this get it's weird the series. It, they're either the guys in the water or the guys in the sky. It, possibly not both. But it's like it's consistent just about every game. Who are you gonna run into? Uh. And I've and this is the first Zelda, second Zelda game I've ever played. The first Zelda game I ever played was Phantom Fucking Hourglass. <laughs> Do you want to know if the watery boys and or the birds are in the game? I can answer that. I know the birds are in the game. <laughs> As because everyone, everyone's always swooning over Rivali. <laughs> you don't know about the buttery boss in the game. I'll figure it out when I get to it. <laughs> they are for reasons. It's Burks, come on. <laughs> Hi Sky J, how you doing? Also, the race is Zora. I always forget the names. Like, I'm barely remembering Rolly Boys' names. Check it. I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura, and she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link, you see, the director may look like a young girl, but, Aww. well, maybe it's not my place to be telling these things. Not swooping in <laughs> the highest opinion, nope. <laughs> No biased opinion here whatsoever. You should talk to Miss Pearl herself. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> hey, hey, are you surprised? Not really. You looked more directory than that guy. The director of this laboratory is not Simon. It's me. Snappity snap. <laughs> anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from... Um... Your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last hundred years, but something must have changed in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Mm. Linky, what's with the look? You do still remember me, right? I don't remember. <sighs> really? Well, I'm shocked. I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Mm. Even though a hundred years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity again and fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely into the slumber of restoration, despite all that, you still don't remember me? I don't remember. Hmm, as expected. After 100 years in the slumber of restoration, subject has lost all memories. Noted! Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Getting <laughs> this thing. Literally, you go through all- you went through all of that information at the start of the game. Anyhow, do you have any question for me? How very rude. Or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is... I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways, it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. You know I'm going to read it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after a hundred years, here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment, and to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. 
And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing in the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? <laughs> no, we are not repeating that. No, thank you. Yes, please. How do you say that? All right, then. First, I need you to run an errand for me. Okay, I am definitely reading your diary. With that, what's with that look on your face? You don't think I'd fix your secret slab for free, did you? No. Yes. But, no, at the same time. Hmm, you're pretty considerate for a young person. But then, I suppose that's because you, you're you actually over 100 years old. Let me explain this errand details. You know the unlit furnace on the wall outside the laboratory? Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace. We'll start working once you do that, allowing us to restore the missing ruins. I wonder if women these days still say things like sweet and little. Oh well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyways. Wow. Okay then, I'm counting on you for that blue flame. Simple enough. I am going to go read your diary now. Where is the staircase? That's the outside. Or is your diary in here? Well, I need the torch, so... Duh, 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 duh. One second, I've got to throw a spear. Oh, well, I went far. Alright, there's the staircase. Time to go read someone's diary. I thought I was a person for a second there. Diary! Valuables! Nope. Oh. One more floor. Farming hoe! Research for research diary for anti-aging rune classified for Pura's eyes only. Date. Work has finally begun on my anti-aging rune. If all goes to plan, I believe it will effectively reverse the aging process. This technology will enable us to make retired warriors young again, thereby strengthening the Hyrulean army. When Calamity Ganon inevitably returns, we'll be ready. Our offense will be solid and our defense impenetrable. The needs for this tech pains me, but I truly hope to use it to attain it. Everlasting peace for all. The beta version of my anti-age rune is complete. I have already added it to the Sheikah Slate I made for myself. Since I am to be the test subject of this appearance, Simeon booted up the rune and directed its rays at my body. After 20 I felt extreme fatigue and broke into a fever, forcing us to cease the experiment. Unable to stay awake. I went to bed immediately. Tomorrow I'll try to figure out what went awry. Day two. My extreme full body fatigue is slightly improved, for which I am grateful. Still, I do not recognize the face in my mirror. My hair is thick, again, and floor length. My wrinkles, once deepest trenches, have vanished without a trace. It seems the anti aging effect works, however, I did not expect the reverse to happen so frighteningly fast. This morning, I kicked Simeon awake and had a had run a full physical exam on me. My height, weight, vision, bone density, heart, blood. We tested everything we could. Everything we could, pushing our facility to its limits. Our discoveries were startling. My results were typical of a Sheikah woman in her early 50s. In other words, I reversed my age by more than 70 years in a single night. Jesus, they get old. I can only hope I do not awaken to find I have the body of a newborn baby. I awoke with an abundance of energy. It has been decades since I slept so well. Upon waking, I immediately checked the mirror, only to be greeted by a youthful version of myself, according to the seeming body of a Sheikah woman in her 30s. 30 years old. I was around that age when I was first able to continue my research following the Great Calamity. First thing I did was try to figure out how to expand the functionality of the Sheikah sensor. I was around 80 years old when that expansion was complete. I intend to 
bequeath this tech to our sleeping arrow. I hope the gods that he will be able to assist in the destruction of this calamity that swallowed our Princess Zelda whole. Vor! Day four. Today, woman in her 20s. And felt this good in a century. This is all taking me back to when the Great Calamity happened. Yet it had been dormant for 10,000 years. Perhaps his power has been building all that time. The slaughter that followed was arbitrary and merciless. The destruction complete. We lost everything. Hyrule Castle, Princess Zelda. Well, perhaps not everything was lost. A youth named Link was brought to me a hundred years ago. Covered up, covered in wounds and on death's doorstep. Link, so young, yet so courageous. He went to the young... He was the youngest knight to ever have appointed to the Imperial Guard at Hyrule Castle. He was also a gifted swordsman who was selected as captain of Princess Zelda's personal guard. I thought his skills would be enough to defeat Ganon in glorious fashion. Since ancient times, the royal family of Hyrule and us Sheikah researchers have had a strong bond. Their pains is our own. We took the swordsman and the Sheikah slate Princess Zelda left behind to the Shrine of Resurrection. Although the slumber restoration had not been fully tested, we decided to put the swordsman under to save his life. It was the best we could do. Day 5. I awoke something horrifying. A scarlet lump scarring my otherwise youthful face. After analyzing the monstrosity, I have come to the conclusion that it's just a pimple, a big one. The results today of physical exam indicate my body and mind have reverted to those of a teenager. I feel like Simeon looks at me differently, which irritates me. I got angry when he insisted on running my blood test for me. I mean, really? What even? I could do it all by myself. In any case, I wonder what experiment I should focus on next. The blue fame in the furnace outside is growing weaker by the day. Doesn't stop working. Day six. My age further still, I now look and feel like a six-year-old. My age has regressed so much that I can no longer reach things in high places. It's super annoying. Where is this genius swordsman we placed in slumber restoration anyway? Wake up already! If he doesn't awaken soon, my feature expansion for the Sheikah sensor will go to waste. But even if he does manage to wake up, I'm not sure he'll find me here. I want to go and just kick Linky awake. But I doubt Simeon would help me. It'd be hard with my six-year-old body anyways. Instead, I think I'll begin work on unreverse my aging process. Day seven. I am still six. Same as yesterday. Perhaps my age reversal has stopped. As luck would have it, today I also finished developing the beta version of an age-boosting rune. If successful, this should be able to reverse the effects of the anti-aging rune. I hope it will, anyways. All I need to do is increase the output and expose myself to its rays. However, when I tried to add this feature to the Seeker Slate I made, I found that the guy in stone had stopped. What's more, the blue flame in the furnace outside has gone out. I sent Simeon to the ancient furnace where he was too clumsy and it was raining out. Raining and nothing went to plan. So I had to go down there and help. But a girl in the village saw me. What a mess I made. Not only am I able to continue my research in this state, I can only work by the light of gas lamps. What to do? That is definitely embarrassing and hilarious. Alright. Uh, this way. It's gonna be the death of me, isn't it? A 60-40 chance that I'm going to be falling from the sky. That was a lot of reading. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I can't run. I have an idea. That worked! Free sword, too.
have a that. <laughs> Oh, the fire's going out. I need to hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry! There we go. I think it's going out. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just a visual thing. Hi there. What a strangely colored fire. It's almost like an ankle fish alert. I don't really know why I'm going over here, but I'm going over here. I'm sure lighting all of these blue has some form of a medicinal purpose. I don't know what the medicinal purpose is, but I have now decided that lighting all of them now has medical properties. <laughs> There's probably zero reason for me to even do that. Out of the way! the chat's doing well. I keep trying to sprint. Link needs to learn how to sprint while holding a fire. Hi. Is it a pro's blue flame? What do you do, do with it? Flame is beautiful. What's Pro gonna do with this? Who knows? I'm gonna light this here and figure out what's up with you. Uh, hey you, yes? Uh -huh. What do you want? Oh, don't act so clueless. Although, fine. You seem harmless enough, forgive me. I've just been on the edge with all these monsters running uh -huh. around. They come up from Hateno, <laughs> Hateno Beach. To steal my sheep. If someone doesn't do something soon, I won't have any left. Eh. So I have to go murder some monsters on Hateno Beach. <laughs> Only for them to be a problem later. <laughs> Bonk. I bring the flame. Oh, are those volumetric clouds? That's actually kind of neat to see the switch doing that effect. And they look really good, all things considered. That's snow. Is that snow or is that clouds? Hard to tell. Those are definitely clouds, though. Ateno Lab, an ancient Ateno Ancient Tech Lab is now set as a travel gate. Cool. I fixed your thing. 
You read it, didn't you? I read it. Well, I commend your honesty. Still, it is never acceptable to rummage through a young lady's private musings. Got it? Naturally, you shall be punished for that. Switch on. All she can say, it's now been deleted. I completely deleted the data on your Sheikah slate. Go on, take a look. <laughs> Did you like my Guidance Stone impression? Superb, right? Don't young girls do mean impressions for fun? Maybe not. Oh well. <laughs> thank you. Snap! Thank you, thank you so much. Now then, take a look over there. The Guidance Stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science. Heh, <laughs> my sweet little Guidance Stone. You know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore the Sheikah Slate runes for you. Thank you! Give me a nice snap. Go on. No time to be shy about it. Snap! <laughs> nice one. Okay, the she the Okay then, Sheikah Slate repair underway. Guidance stone lock removed. Ooh. Now, let's do this thing. At least I don't have to walk over to it. Sheikah Slate authenticated. Camera, Hyrule Compendium, and album file missing files confirmed. Starting repair. Oh, there's a photo mode in this game. Cool. Camera. What? Ooh. Repair complete. A cat is aggressively cleaning his butt again. <laughs> and it's done. So, is it all fixed up now? Mm, let's see, which one is it? Oh, oh. Camera, hyper album. Yep, yeah, all looks good. So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Hi. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, don't forget to let me see it. There we go. Thank you. Now the picture taken going. Did you get a cute pic of me with the camera? I took one. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. Hmm. My, who is this beautiful young creature? <laughs> huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Ah, uh, it's just not a... It's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes. There are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Elba and made frequent use of the camera feature, but this? Hey, Linky. It dawns on me that you were Princess Elba's appointed knight, which means... There's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all the places where these pictures were taken. <sighs> Alright, the lost memory thing could prove troublesome. Yeah. But don't lose hope. It just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help resolve your lost memories. If my answer is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. Don't you... You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient material. Bring them to me or Robbie at the, uh, Akala Ancient Tech Lab. <laughs> as if my joy weren't enough, if you bring us ancient material, we'll give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. Thank you! Snap. Thumb in your mind. Who's good? Oh, oh. Robbie is my subordinate. There, I said it. I think he's... Still up at the edge of a call research. Researching guardians. I haven't seen him in a hundred years though, so who knows? Anything else? <laughs> Aha! I'm glad you asked. I'll power up your room. Ooh. Need those ancient screws to power up your Sheikah sensor. Need 
three inch inch shafts to power up the remote bombs, and need three inch cores to power up stasis. Okay. All right. I think you should go see Impa first, but if you're saying you already have some ancient material, then why don't you go ahead and power up the Shikasu? Now then, exchange those ancient materials. I'll power up a rune on your street. I'm in. I'm game. So, which rune do you want to power up? Let's go with the sensor. Yes. Snap. <laughs> Underway. Guide stone locked removed. Oh. Now let's do this thing. Skip this cutscene. Search for things other than shrines. We'll rack pretty close to things you've set to look for. Head in the direction where. Ooh. That'll be useful. Forty-two degrees. Man, it's cold out. <laughs> Yahoo! Shrill <laughs> guy stone did the trick. Oh, the Sheikah Sensor Plus! I really want to see it. Yes, quite. So if you don't mind, how about showing Simon the spiffy Sheikah Sensor Plus later? Thank you. Snap. Let's do it. Remote bomb! Yes! Ah! Basis? I think I have cores. Alright. Ah, lame. Bye. What do I have? So I have the ancient screws, two shafts, and no cores. Okay. I do have an idea of where I could get some more cores. Yeah. Good evening. She's coming handy. That you can sense everything you captured on your camera. Explain it. Why not learn by trying? Give it a shot, so to speak. Aww. So let's see there. First, take a picture of a sunshroom. There's one behind the lab. Sunshroom. Torch. <laughs> Got it. Got it. There we go. Better not. <laughs> Again, space paradise. Ah. ah, 
Were you able to take a picture of the sun shrimp? Yes. Let me confirm. He's got a picture of the sun shroom. Excellent. Next, open that and tune your sense to the picture of the oh. sun shroom. Sense the sun shrooms. Ah. Bring me three sun shrooms. Simple enough. <laughs> so my man there needs three sun shrooms. Uh, let's go fat. Let's go talk to Impa. Get that out of the way. Are there, there she is. I traveled many different distances to get here. Aardvark. Mm. Huh? I heard Pearl was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. Locked mementos complete. Now then, let me see. This is not wowed out a cam the camera that Princess Zelda used on her years ago. Ah. Who be that? If you visit the locations within you'll be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you tried going to at least one of those locations. Oh. Is there something there is something I wish to give to you. Okay. That's one of the an the ancient things. It's wild that it's just images. Why do you look so aggressive? Ah, oh, you're training. <laughs> like, why do you look so aggressive? Ride it into the sky! My finger hurts. <laughs> I cut my finger earlier today, so that's been fun. At least it doesn't affect the I'm playing this because I don't use that part of my finger to really touch anything, but... It's always a good time. Let's not fall off the cliff. Now, we need to find that tower. We saw it earlier. There it is. I think. Huh? 
we need to work our way in that direction. Unless we're looking at... No, nope, we're not looking at the... Are we? We might be. Trying to leave. There we go. Map, please. That might not actually be the Dueling Peaks Tower. Maybe it is. No, I don't think it is. Dueling Peaks is on the other. S the one for Dueling Peaks is on the other side of a mountain. I don't see a mountain in the way. I see it on top of a mountain. Now I just gotta wait very impatiently for my horse to get over here. There we are. care that it's in town. Run anyways. I need to earn the ability to run faster while in town. Thought. I'm out of the town. There we go. Actually, there's a way to tell if it's the here or not. Dare hit my horse. Yep, it's not, it's not where... Okay. I honestly forgot that was a, you know, a, a thing I could do. I should also take a picture of the horse. seems to be stuck between a tree and a hard place. Uh, let's see if I can... Oops, sorry. Well, that didn't work out very well, but I been, but I got them out anyways. It was some wishful thing. What the hell is attacking me now? No idea. Now. Huh. 
There we go. old picture. I thought I hadn't taken a picture of the farming though yet. Ah, no. Get back here. I need a picture of you. For research purposes. Got ya. We need a way up for that tower, so we'll just continue following the road until we find it. I see it on the road. Save. Donkey! Okay, then a picture of a donkey. In need of a new hoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to use the paraglider if you're stuck in a falling animation game. I'm not the 
Kubano chose to climb the mountain. I've tried to turn you to the to the left, and then you like mountain. Eventually, I'll get this thing under control. Got him. Bye. Solved my problem through drowning. A good way to solve a problem, honestly. Trying to cut grass here. There we go. Okay, I guess I don't need pictures of those. I definitely need a picture of you, though. Big, angry, giant weakling. <laughs> Moblin parts. There we go. There we go. Come on. <laughs> One, two, three, four. There we go. I like how you can't attack unless you have a weapon. Killed him with his own spear. I like how when I originally saw those guys, I was like, ooh, those look like a major threat. And then they turned out not to be. Oh, 
to the guy who was just thrown my direction. I guess he got thrown off the cliff. Well, this is mildly inconvenient. Grow on this thing. That's the question of the day. <laughs> Thankfully, we should have enough stamina to climb this. If not, we could probably eat something while we're climbing it. Which would be hilarious, but also a good way to save our ass if we don't have enough stamina to do this. There we go. Got the hard part out of the way. At least one of the hard parts. <laughs> All right, slow climb up. I really need a the ability to climb faster. I'm assuming that something will get at some point. I think this makes me want to finish Immortals Phoenix Rising again. I finished it off stream ages ago, but I never did do a pl finish the playthrough I had on stream. Either way, now I know this location a bit better. Scanning area. go now we know the whole area sweet it's actually not a lot to this place that's kind of disappointing but understandable though it's still disappointing honestly it'll forever impress me that this game looks as good as it does on my 4k tv like the art style gives it that painted look and it works very well. You know? I didn't mean to call my horse, no. That's a rock. I see a lot of uh, shrines out here, shockingly. Like, we've got the shrine that we got did over there, and then we got the shrine that was over there. There's something over there. 
Seems interesting. Found another tower that's over there. There's a shrine. Wow. We actually marked, a, marked one hell of a tower that's all the way out there. We pretty much explored to the far right of the map. Give or take. I think I'll go to this one here. What time is it currently? 7.13? So I've been at this for about five hours. Give or take. So after the shrine that's over there, check out this... Well, check out this here and fast travel our way back to the... Uh, not the shrine, the... Uh, Hyrule Temple of Time. See if we can get more upgrades from it. It doesn't matter which order I go for these. I think I'll go for that first. There might be more in this hill in these there hills than uh, previously assumed. Previously assumed. <laughs> okay, my oh. fox, 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 grassland fox, fox, and I caught it in the perfect position. Fox! An absolutely amazing picture of a mountain goat. <laughs> Are you guys like deaf and blind? Is if so, that's hilarious. I'm now going to beat you up with a mop. That 
seems to be a boss. I'm going to go to the bathroom and be right back. It's either an enemy or it's not an enemy. I am back and I have a bowl of fried French that I made myself. And a very sleepy kitty. 
My cat is currently unconscious on my bed, looking absolutely adorable. Friendly, not friendly, what are you? Not friendly. <laughs> All right, now that I know that, I know what I'm dealing with. No, I didn't want to take another picture. There we go. I have an idea. This is either gonna not work very well, or be highly ent- Or work incredibly well, and be highly entertaining. Now. didn't work. I don't think that worked at all. Okay. Oh, it did some damage. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it did some damage. <laughs> It'd help if I had some arrows. health. 
Did the roll really kill me? That's annoying. This way, come up. Surprisingly, no. Licking your lips. off of that. Timing was off again. Hey, <laughs> that weapon on your chest. Thank you very much. Aha! This might be the thing I need to kill him. I love how he just ragdolls at the end there. Woo. 
quality victory there. Where the hell does this go? assume up the hill past the really angry looking uh bull water buffalo <laughs> I'm gonna assume it came from up there don't kill me now thank you Mucho appreciado. I, I live in Wyoming. I know how dangerous the buffalo can be. Unlike the tourists. There's another one. You stop. And it has another orb. I don't have the resources to take out another one, especially the blue variant. But hey, I at least figured out, and there's three of them! Oh boy. Well, at least we got one done. Started by giants, and mount around, lead to the shrine. Well, good to know this is here. Let's mark it with... Battle. Yes! There we go. That's a good mark for this. We are currently in death. Well, there's blue boy. We killed the red boy over there. So where's the last one? There he is! Black Kinox.
don't know what you're looking at, but it's going to be mine. I'm not sure how useful this would be against this guy. It might have been useful if it was raining. But we can give it a try. leading up to this douchebag. <laughs> like, yeah, all those adventurers that fought this guy before, they're here. Well, shit. <laughs> it actually has some use. But unfortunately, this is not a fight we're going to win! Especially with it being a three-on-one. I sound just go. Yep, there we go. So that electric staff has a lot of use, unfortunately, just not going to win us that fight. You are evil. I might have been able to use that guy to my advantage, thinking about it, but at the same time, it's still not a fight we're going to win, because we're going to run out of weapons before we get his health down to half. 
As much as I love operating on wishful thinking, I know when wishful thinking will only get you so far. So I have to come back to this later. Oh, you're still alive. Thumb's about to come out. We got a bunch of new bows. I'm out of range of my horse, but that's fine. Well, speaking of horse. difficult. I want to get to the shrine. I'm going to have to go through those two. I might just have to run past them. Or stealth them. <laughs> Ow. I took your weapon and beat you to death with it. What are you going to do about it? Now. Alright. Either a horse or the bot goblet is about to get lit on fire and it's gonna be funny. Oh, I hit the I hit the correct target. Give me that. Thank you. Can I steal his horse? I also don't have a picture of a horse yet, apparently. No. Didn't work. All right. Oh. 
Doesn't have a lot of stamina, but it's pretty fast. It works out very well. Also is incredibly loyal. Unlike other horses I've been dealing with. Looks like they were the forward scouts. else is unfortunate. That fire. But I don't need the fire. Unfortunately, I'm low on arrows, with the exception of these. Bonk! But these guys are a little tougher than the usuals. That's... Not good. Ah. I got your sword. Oh, oh, someone's on fire. Got him. <laughs> All right. Got a bunch of uh, pretty good weapons out of that. I don't think I was going to have that timing down. Okay. That was fun. I came into that with very weak weaponry and managed to walk out with it with weapons that would be very, excuse me, very useful. Alright. Drop that and drop that. Grab more of the spiked bows because they're pretty damn powerful. And make sure I got all the arrows. Alright, so with all that fuss, this better give me something good. Soldier spear. You know what? That's not bad. Uh, I just need to drop something for it. Hydrate! Hydrating, don't worry. Hydration successful. Pop my spine. Oh, that felt good. Eat some french fry. They got cold.
Really sucks that half of my weapons are currently heavily damaged. Trying to call the. What's that horse I was riding? You know, the all black one. Seems like it's lost a time. That's unfortunate. Again, Space Paradise. Hope you're still doing well. The marker is set. Shrine. Yep. A modest test of strength. Yay! I like strength tests. Oh boy. It's got a sword and it's got a big axe and a shield. You're shitting me on nine different levels there. <laughs> okay then. that that's what it was trying to do. Up to that point, it hadn't been doing much of anything. <laughs> Modest test of strength, my ass. Ha 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 ha. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh. I was trying to do a jump over it, but I think I also attempted to parry it at the same time. I think I was... which didn't work out, obviously. Now. Yeah, this isn't that difficult. It's just a case of don't fucking die like an idiot. Now. I knew that wasn't gonna go well, but my bow was not pulling out when I was, you know, trying to pull it out. It's like, hmm, yes. I'm gonna save here, please. Thank you. So now s put me there instead of at the cutscene. Thank you very much. Deflected that somehow. <laughs> Aha. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not dealing with that, thank you very much. You can hit this wall. I'm stupid, but not that stupid. Jesus. Okay, we're alive. We're still alive. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm alive. Okay, thank you. That fight was stupid. Now, hey, we got enough ancient shafts to upgrade a thing. my
A triumph over the test of... Okay, yes, I've heard this before. <laughs> Spirit orb. I like how you won't... No matter what you do, you only get one. That's a very interesting uh, idea there, game. <laughs> Freeze the barrel bomb. Throw the barrel. Freeze the barrel bomb. Stasis the barrel bomb. Throw it at an enemy. I like the sound of your. I like the sound of that. Hey you! Bring me any major materials? So which rune do you want to power up? I'm up bomb! Three ancient shafts, let's do it! Here I go! Snap! So all we're missing now is the uh cores, which I'm assuming we get from the big angry guardians. So what is this going to do? I'm curious. Powered up bombs now have stronger blasts, recharge faster, the force of damage monsters and destroy objects. <laughs> Alright, cool. So it's just more damage. Which seems useful. All right. Don't mind me, just... Doesn't really look like that does much. Yeah, let's head back to the Temple of Time real quick. Okay, no, no. I went to the wrong location. Whoops. I am going to die if I don't fast travel to the right location quick. the axe is back. Oh, and so is the sword. <laughs> well, that's convenient. Weapons that Weapons also respawn too. That's good to know. 
I wonder if that also includes guardians, because guardians don't really feel like a... normal enemy. But I... but who knows. It's at least good to know that I can return to an area after a blood moon if I need very specific weapons. If I'm going to remember that they're there, that's another story. <laughs> I think more health might be good. I'm assuming there's a limit to the amount of health and, uh... stamina I can get. Like, here's all the travel I've done so far. From here, let's head to that tower that's over there. From there, let's head to the tower. <laughs> Or I freeze to death. Ah, that tower is a bit of a distance off. The question then becomes, is this idea safe? The answer is most assuredly no. The next question becomes, will we survive this live? The answer is also probably no. But a wolf can dream. Good news is we made it. The bad news is I don't think we're really that close to the tower. I see the shrine. I heard a wolf. There's a floof in this area. How is that? And how is that safe? <laughs> this is another combat shrine. I'm going to be very, very annoyed. Gino. I agree, Gino. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, oh boy. All right, so what's the end goal of this one? Magnesis? No, you can't magnesis those. So it's stasis and uh, hit it. Okay. Simple enough. Ah! I did that wrong. <laughs> But I do know what I need to do. I need to stasis the orb, then hit the orb. I got me to do that. Let's get the orb into position first. Oh, I can only... Okay. No, I can stasis the orb. Go. Nope. Apparently, I hit it too many times. Okay. That's fine. This is fine. Bonk. Alright, that's shit all I need. take a long stretch after I'm done with this one. My back's getting a little sore. Why? In the hell? Okay. But why? <laughs> The worst part is they didn't drop anything. <laughs> Which is like, oh no, that's not good. <sighs> but it wasn't too bad. I don't like what I hear behind that wall though. I can hear them skittering about, plotting my dim eyes. Fuck. Or maybe I just hear a laser, actually. <laughs> that could be it. works, I guess. I didn't know that it actually worked. Now the question then becomes, uh, how do I get it over here? Oh, I gotta get the orb. I see what, I see what I have to do now. Like. 
Ah, shit. Playing Skyrim with Stealth, Ar Stealth Archer for the first time. Exactly. How are you doing, Runstar? By the way, you're using Time Stop wrong. No, I am using it 100% correctly and no one can tell me otherwise. Ah, ah you fuck. That's Yelzawado while activating it. No. <laughs> Also, why don't I just do this? I'm thinking about that. I'm like, why am I going through the effort of doing this when I can do this? Yeah, why, why didn't I just do that to begin with? Now... All right, let's finish this puzzle. Put this over here. You know, there is, there is a Zelda crossover with Skyrim. I like how that's now just on top of that block. It's not gonna be inconvenient in the slightest. Actually, a lot easier than I was making it out to be. That was annoying, but you know what? It was kind of fun. <sighs> Angular spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you! To be honest, I've always been told it's really good. And you know what? It's pretty good. Is it best game of all time? No, definitely not. But, it's fun.
Oh, oh, fuck. I I'm sorry I insulted your family. Let me take a picture of you. Somewhere, we'll make the best game of all time. It's just going to be a long time before that ever actually happens. Now... Wolf! Tell me we could ride the wolf. Oh, it's a coyote. Close enough! There most assuredly can be one that's best of every genre. I want to ride the coyotes. Get back here. Alright, fine. I won't ride the coyotes. I'll leave y'all to do coyote things. I know there's the, uh... You can ride the wolf from Twilight Princess if you have an amiibo. It might be worth looking into how you fake an amiibo, because that might be an interesting idea. <laughs> what were those? Oh, there. I'm like, where are those coming from? And you're telling me that most- that some of the games that have been called the best games of all time didn't include those- didn't include those genres in their, uh, gameplay? Need I remind you of Gwent? And whatever the fuck that one side mode in Horizon Forbidden West was called? I think it was like... Machine Strike? I never played Machine Strike, but I know it's a thing. I played Machine Strike once, decided I didn't like it, and moved on. I'll have to properly play Machine Strike at some point. It's just not going to happen right now. I'd also like to point out a game that is a copy of- that has been called a copy of this was a CRPG in one of its expansions. Because why not? The game was Immortal Phoenix Rising and... Those glorified minigames don't satisfy through gatekeeping <laughs> One of them isn't a minigame, one of them was a full game inside of a game. Oh, that didn't work out very well. But I am alive. <laughs> Wait, 
Yeah, Mortals Phoenix Rising had a full-on CRPG as one of its expansions. There was the Chinese Mythology expansion. And the first one was just really difficult challenges. Essentially, Zelda's shrines on steroids. Granted, so far, I still- I think Immortal Phoenix Rising definitely did the, uh... ...challenges a lot better than this game. They didn't name the action RPG strategy hybrid game. It exists. Hmm. There's a few games I could think of, but all of their names for some reason are escaping me. This place is a very interesting location to explore. But I've already got to the point that I want to fly. But yeah, I know it exists, I just can't remember it off the top of my head. Ironically, Final Fantasy VII Remake fits in that category because it added the, uh, turn-based strategy mode. What the hell is that thing? Oh, that's not what I meant to do! Uh, da -da -da -da, I need pictures of Spider-Man. Black variants of enemies we've yet to fight, so... We're gonna give them a wide berth because I don't know what they're going... You know what? Let's just find out what they're going to do. These are not Spider-Man pictures I asked for, Parker. <laughs> no, you get giant lizard men. Alright, we can beat them. It's just not going to be easy. Excuse me, game! What made you think that save position was okay in the slightest? Anyway, Mountain Blade example. Yep. And I remember Mountain Blade. Well, I've never played it, so I didn't really know exactly what it was, but I know that it's a game that exists. And it's pretty cool. From all I hear. It also buggy as hell. 
It wasn't Game Pass, so I need to play it at some point. Or isn't Game Pass. Oh, my inventory is full. Next time I see the, you know, who's the Madugit, I need to buy more, like, bow space. Funny thing is, is we're still not close to our marker. Because this place is like some form of hell to navigate. How the hell do you get the motorcycle? That's the question of the day. How the hell do you get the motorcycle? Because I know there's a motorcycle in this game. Anything I've seen on this game, it's some of the it's his trailers, including ones for the DLCs. And I know one of the DLCs has a motorcycle. But you can't mix them all their fullest. I doubt game designers. One day or another, there will be a group of game designers with the passion and skill to do that, and the funding to do that as well. And the technology is going to be advanced enough for them to successfully pull that off, too. What time is it currently? 8.36. So it's been an hour since the last time I checked the time. I see you over there. You're not stealthy. I think it's neat that they try to be stealthy. I hear him. I don't see them. I think they're up there and I'm hearing the sound from down here. By the way, they're about to know who I'm here in a second. Does that not work? Or did I just put that in a really stupid position? I put it in a really stupid position. Someone was upset by me using explosives. The downside to using his explosives is it kind of launches what I'm looking for, the items I'm trying to get everywhere. Not interested in any of you, goodbye. 
Wait. Ha 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 ha. Maybe going this way isn't a great idea. <laughs> Where am I currently? Alright, it's part of the Champion's Ballad DLC. Which requires... Ah, I have to do all the... Okay. I was looking up the mo motorcycle. I'm like, oh, it's part of the Champion Ballad. Alright, what do I need to do to do the Champion Ballad? The Divine Beasts. Okay. So that's gonna take a while to get. I could focus down the Divine Beast, but... Oh, shit. <laughs> I got one! <laughs> I wasn't to no avail, there was some avail to that. Oh, it's random each time. Not die. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> arm. <laughs> the arm hit like 50 items that were near me, apparently. Good to know. All right, what do I get today? An ancient screw. Well, we succeeded at the first try, exploded at the second. Oh. And I couldn't move the camera with the third. The materials exploding is a very Miyazaki trap, isn't it? <laughs> what do we get today? Another screw. Cool. I'm a screw loose for keep making the same mistakes eight times over.
Oh, I have to manually catch it. Good to know. Would also be very Kojima. Either way. I've learned how boomerangs work. Don't aim them at the ground. If I didn't hit that, I just realized what was next to them, and I realized that I was a little too close to it, a little too late. Alright, what do we get today? String! my shield. Ah, shit. I didn't electrocute the one I wanted to. How people can... I need to do... I need to properly do Death Stranding at some point. I now have the PC version of, uh... The you know what's in the Duggan edition. And I also have it on PS5. So I have multiple ways to play it. Got him. Don't know if I can run it. I have PC version of Death Signing, but don't know if you can run it. Eh, that's fair. It didn't seem like it'd be too demanding. It definitely isn't all that demanding. Let's grab the uh let's grab the system specs. But you probably already know them.
All things considered, those are low specs. And yes, I grabbed the Xbox app because it was funny. It's still funny to me that the uh, PlayStation game is on the Xbox PC store. And I'm sure that... I'm sure that isn't lost on Microsoft either. Bike spear. Well, it's better than the arm, so goodbye <laughs> arm, don't blow me up. Where do the other parts go? Oh yeah, 1050 ain't too bad. Bats. That's something we haven't gotten before. I'm assuming the rest of the uh, stuff fell off the cliff. That's the arm I threw. Oh, that's a pretty nice shield. Not PS, but it's a Jojima game. <laughs> Yeah, but they published it, and then gave the the publishing rights to a different studio to publish it on PC. Little did they know that studio would also work with Microsoft. Is that an actual wolf, or is this another... it's another coyote. Where did that sword just go? Well, shit. Made and crafted them. <laughs> oh, shush. The good news is we're about to make it to this tower. Which is the only reason I was over here. I did not care about anything else. I saw this tower in the distance and I'm like, yes, I have to, cr I have to, I have to climb it. Uh, minor problem. I see the solution. So this tower isn't going to be easy to climb. Apparently cryo does work. Okay. Oh, there's wind! Oh, that's cruel and unusual. They knew exactly what they were doing. 
They knew I was going to use the glider to try to cheat this, and made it so the wind blows you away if you try. That's great. The good news is that it still worked. The bad news... Actually, there was no bad news. I should be able to make it up before I run out of stamina. Even if I didn't, I had a backup. There we go. Breath of the Wild developers are... ...evil sometimes. <laughs> it's fucking cold. Okay. Ted, let me do that quickly before we freeze to death. <laughs> gonna chew down on the stake while climbing a tower, I'd like to point out. Hey, we got another area of the map, uh, un uncovered. So now we know where we are. And we're freezing to death. Um... We're in the Gerudo Desert. Dragon's Exile. Oh yes, there's an actual dragon there. But hey, we made it to two sides of the map. The far west and the far east. So that's good. Do I need to find the location of these pictures? One of them. <laughs> Favored by Tom, the China. <laughs> I know where that is. Oh, yeah. I have a basic idea of where that is. Because I know the, I know the location in the background. So it's a view of this area here, but the question becomes, from which direction? Let you know where China is. <laughs> Alright, I know where that I know where that image is.
Okay, first thing first is we need a view of the rocks. Okay. So it's across the lake. Let's take a look at the map. So it might actually be here. It's either around here. I'm gonna put one there. And then one here. Wait! There's hints in the, uh... There's a hint, right up there. That's not it. Okay, it is an outright dueling peaks. Yeah, that's a hint. Okay. It's further in here somewhere. Here's the hint that I'm currently seeing. Does not tell me that it is this location. Alright. But it tells me that it's over here somewhere. Fox! Don't care, goodbye. be helpful if I had a weapon. Incoming! Jesus. I heard that coming up on me. I'm like, incoming! What is this one expecting me to do? If the only thing I see is blue plant. I'm just gonna cut down every blue plant. Playing. 
Maybe I'm on the right track. Wind's howling. Oh. Okay, that was definitely not what I needed to do. <laughs> down every tree. changing direction every time I look away from it. Bomb it. Didn't work. How many generic generic quotes draw generic quotes can you can you quote? There's a Korok here, but there is no explanation as to how you get this Korok. Like, my hint was stump. So I made a stump. I made several stumps, in fact. I pop my spine. All right. Okay, so this is supposed to be a target. This is definitely supposed to be a target mini game. Oh, I see them. There they fucking are. Wow. 
I timed that shockingly perfectly. My horse was here, but it's out in the middle of nowhere. I guess I could head back here. Yeah, let's sure. Let's head back there. And then I'm going to take that stretch I said I would. I will be right back.
I am back. I took a really good stretch and it felt good. I am ready to continue. As soon as my controller reconnects. There it goes. Cool. Alright, we're good to go. <laughs> um... It's not working. Today, and something went wrong. Let me turn the controller back off. Try that again. What's wrong, Sniffles? Are you okay? I need puke. <laughs> My cat makes funny noises when he needs to puke. Okay, today and why isn't the controller connecting? <laughs> I'll be right back as soon as I fix this. All right, we got it working. <laughs> yeah, we got it working. All right, that was weird. Everything is very loud now. <laughs> okay, so what are we trying to do? What? Where are... Oh, yeah, we're over here so we can get our horse back. other look you gave me. Oh. Fine. You don't believe me? Let's go, pal. You and me, right here, right now. I want to challenge me, the second place Hyrule Horse Taming Competitor winner, to a tame-off? You got- okay. Oh. That's the spirit. You must bring a wild horse back to this spot within the time limit. There is shock will Any one of them will do. Okay. Record's two minutes flat, so you need to bring back a wild horse within that oh. time. Prepare for extreme taming. Okay. You better give me something good for this, because this is not exactly what I was expecting to be doing. I'm minding my own business here and then all of a sudden some monsters come and scare the horses that I was trying to tame. Thanks, game. Why is that a thing that can happen? Why is that a thing that can happen? Yes, I know, you puked. <laughs> Get off my leg. Alright, let's try that again. Meow. Meow. <laughs> we get it, you're upset. I'm also upset because I my Boy! Hey. 
Alright, let's go. Ah! Ah! Can you stop trying to walk on my leg? Amazing, mm. but I can't believe you beat my two-minute record so easily. I mean, I won second place now, to, to be very... It was just my brother and I competing. Anyway, here's the purse for winning the second... <laughs> You've earned it. 50? Oh. Her hubris isn't that bad after all. Maybe! Oh. No, I don't really care. Someone to th just target them first. All right. I didn't really care about this horse. It's, it's kind of the thing I've grabbed the second yeah. Right. Stop trying to walk on my leg! Have I friended this horse yet? No idea. Keeps randomly slowing down. I also do not feel like I'm controlling it sometimes, so I don't think I've tamed it just yet. I think maybe it's just trying to follow the road. <laughs> no, it's not following the road. I don't really know what it's trying to do. I'm just gonna keep heading it. Bonk. <laughs> Could I give it apples to maybe speed up my trust of getting its trust? Oh. 
Let's try that idea. That does work. This looks about like the uh, location. Oh, good, there's people fighting over here. Let's help them out. Uh -huh. Remember, I asked for your Now they call me the rude one to not thank somebody. Sneaky meat pie. <laughs> I'll get him next time for sure. Oh. It wasn't. I mean, those monsters weren't that threatening. Like, you were doing a decent job of beating them back before I got here, but I'm stealing your chest. Your inventory is full. <laughs> of course it is. Thank you for the shields. Oh, don't drop that. Throw that. Th throw. There we go. Got ourselves a new sword. Yeah, you can feed them apples and it'll help you get their trust. That's kind of neat, actually. starting to look more and more like that one shot. You know, this one here. I just need to find the area of the, the water that it was taken from. Side of conversation because I, because you can't hear what I'm saying because you are deaf. I'm on a headbutt. Is so there more water over here?
Which side of the mountain is that taken on? Okay, it is this side. So, three trees. Okay, I, can't, I don't want to delete it. I want to look at it better. Going. Stop trying to walk on my leg. Over there, maybe? That's getting closer to now. Hmm. Might be over there. Stop trying to walk on my leg. My horse could stop, like, trying to turn itself for, like, one second. Uh. Alright. Now. Even shooting at me over here. Guess you could get over here. Don't lie to me, horse. So it's a lake. I really do hate the horses in this game. As, hor as horse game design goes, they are definitely the worst I've dealt with. Get over here. I don't care if you can get over here or not. Get over here. But <laughs> God, that was absolutely brutal. As I say, never store explosives near your camp. I don't know if they say that or not, but don't do that. My inventory's full. Alright. Uh, 
God, you were a useless horse. doing something I probably shouldn't be doing right now. <laughs> but it might just work out. There we go. Today in Horse is the dumbest thing ever programmed in a video game. Stop being a moron and get over here. God, was that so hard? I can see the shrine over there, along with something else. Turn! I should grab that something else real quick. Stable. I travel alone. This inn gets full marks for beauty, so I like to take a rest here. Okay. <laughs> All right. The most beautiful features. <laughs> it's beautiful land. I'll listen. Uh. Sure. Even more beautiful on the inside. Now let's see. Head north to Rival Field. You see a castle surrounded by that foul aura. But long a den of monsters, but it's glorious day, sure a thing of wondrous beauty. It was in this very castle, those very days, that my ancestor, my grandfather, grandfather, he worked as a castle appointed chef. I couldn't believe it myself. Oh, how I wondered Ooh. what sort of cuisine mem members of the royal court enjoyed in the good old days. It would suffer meager meals, all while dreaming of that beautiful dishes might have graced my plate. Things are different. Gourmet, spice, meat, seafood, curry, mushroom risotto, egg pudding, egg pudding. I'm sure that's a thing. Oh my, I think I'm salivating. And that's my pursuit of those childhood dreams that explains the fabulous body you see here. These days I enjoy my time working at these stables, sharing tales of beauty with any traveler or listen. Oh, good man. Uh, excuse me, you seem to call myself probably on. But looking upon you, perfectly symmetrical face, and discussing meals of beauty are kind of my dog. Set foot inside our uh, Could you find it to keep an eye out for a cookbook? Not around somewhere. It's a dime to sample the food of the royal court. Alright, so I gotta somehow get into the Hyrule Castle without dying. Yeah. Gone to the giant castle over there, that's Hyrule. A hundred years ago. There's a sneak in there to salvage any treasure, but it's too dangerous to go in there now. Uh... Surrounded by an eerie mist and savage machine-like creatures. Back when it was safer, I went looking for ultra-rare equipment that once belonged to the Royal Guard. Legendary among collectors, but I never will find any. Ah. Mm. Oh, I did not want to... Wild... So my max bond, it's wild, it's temperament is just wild, so I might just need another horse. Ooh. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, there he is. What you doing? The meat again. But I've lost my way. According to the folks' stable, this area is sent to Lyra. Shagalago, that means Karago is still farther north. May as well stay a while and relax. Wait a minute. I know that smell anywhere. That's the Korok seed. You collect the Korok seed for the water shield, haven't you? Alright. Bustache. One Korok seed? Sure. Sounds good to me. Now I can hold another bow. Sweet. I'm gonna do this shrine real quick, and then we're gonna continue our progress elsewhere. Also cut my- god, the cat cut my leg rather deep. Is so somebody didn't have a, enough cuts already. The cat's like, mm, yes, I'm gonna cut into your leg. Because I won't listen and continue to try to walk on your leg. Metal connect- oh boy. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Can I just move this anywhere? Okay, I can move it anywhere. What's annoying is I have to rebuild everything. What did I need this for? Oh, I see what I need it for. We're making a bridge. All right, throw it down. Throw it back up. I have a much better idea than a bridge. called manipulation of I don't really know what I'm doing but it's gonna be funny oh the game's not gonna let me do that I thought I was being clever there the game won't let me do that
This works though. Somewhat. This was easy. I don't care. Goodbye. Today, an obvious something here is obvious. I have a way to cut down trees. Okay. It's called explosives. They're very effective. I don't know if it works or not. <laughs> um, hi. Oh, yeah. Greetings. Mm. Maybe bold, you look troubled. Perhaps into what your future holds would bring trouble to spirit. Alright, tell me my fortune so you could be horrendously wrong. Now let's see. Mm. A red, crimson, deep, rich, the most beautiful color I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, it's the color of your blood. Ooh. Now die. Well, I expected as much. Honk. That was funny. <sighs> Come on, try it again. Ow. Alright, fine. Bye. I'm like, ooh, is that person near the tree? I'm like, yeah, no, no, that's, that's most <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give me your sickle. Thank you. The answer will shock you. Can I blow up this big tree? Nope. I don't really know if I'm doing anything or if I'm just blowing up a bunch of trees because they look funny. The answer more than likely is I'm just blowing up a bunch of trees because they look to me funny. Is I'm that paranoid about cow Korok seeds. I've climbed a tree. I now am the tree. Oh, 
Good news is I found a boat. Bad news, I don't think it helps. I was right to be paranoid. Now! That's not what I meant to do. I'm gonna try to see if I can get myself a better horse. As much as I like the Epona, Epona is, uh... Oh, you go away. There we go. Back here. Got one. Coward. All right. temperament. Finally, something that seems like it'll be good. Sure. I still don't get why that's Japanese symbols down there. I have a very great name for this horse, don't worry. Like, why is my keyboard in Japanese. Oh, my bad. I was trying. But I hit X instead of Y. This keyboard is weird. Because it's different than the usual one, and it's also in Japanese. <laughs> Partially. And I'm just sitting here, Y. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Take the horse, please. Oh. 
This one seems more reasonable. And it's got balanced stats, which is also good. Oh, I did not mean to drop that. So is there a thing to shoot in this three? Don't worry. Screw that bird in particular. What? Oh. Okay. Mini aggressive rocks. I see a small issue with that boat game in the fact that it's on the other side of this river. Look, aren't they lovely? You want to see how the shrine will look with flowers around it. It's wonderful. Please uh, take a look. Just don't step on them. Okay. Watch out for the flowers. Okay. Instead of act... I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm assuming... I'm assuming there's nothing really stopping me from just walking on the flowers. Why am I going through all this effort to safely pass the shrine? There we go! Completed. I'm gonna have to do that every single time I fast travel to the shrine, aren't I? <laughs> Note to self, don't fast travel to the shrine. Drift, drifting. Oh. It's the water. Uh. Alternatively. Never mind, actually. Oh no, it works. I see you under there. How do I get to that? Oh, you can grab that, eh? Okay, then. I guess it's a metal chest, so it makes sense.
I slightly broke this puzzle, but that's fine. Damn it. I threw it back into the water. That's a massive waste of that item, but it was also going to be my death, because I miscalculated. Now... <laughs> Alright, give me your stuff. You're holding a ring, I want your ring. <laughs> They're not going to give me their ring, are they? Yep, just a spirit orb. Which then will allow you to use them in very interesting ways, which is always fun. Don't step on the flowers. Not even for that pitchfork. You better give me an item for not stepping on your flowers. No. When the weather picks up, the water also picks up its, uh... Everything. I see a well. Well, it's dry. But it did give me a rusty sword. <laughs> Got some toxic mud. 
the hell is this stuff? The answer is nothing good. Apparently an enemy group made their base there. That's mildly inconvenient. Alright, let's get out of there. That in the distance. I think that's one of the blind beasts. That's kind of neat. Get balls. Shit. Run. Run. Fucking run. Following us to the ends of the earth, which means we might have no choice but to fight it. Oh, that was an attempt. It didn't work. Okay! So that thing's gonna be a problem. I was What I was attempting to do there was essentially parry its attack, but I think I need to be locked onto it. I'm just annoyed that that came out of fucking nowhere. Alright! That's where we died. We were trying to get to there. Is there really no better controllable horse than this? There it is. Thought maybe I could parry its attack. The answer was no, you cannot. The good news is this one hasn't noticed us. Yet. Another one. 
Oh, that's one of the... It's one of the dead ones. No, it's not dead. That's very alive. Ideally, it won't notice me. Of course, that's an ideal, not a, uh... Don't you dare turn towards it. There's another one! My god, they're everywhere. I just want to get to this tower. Is that too much to ask you? Another one! And one of them has seen me! Yeah. Fuck! Yeah. My horse got stuck to a tree! Uh. I was so close, and the, the horse was like, Yeah, I'm gonna get stuck to a tree. I wasn't throwing myself at enemies! And I'm all the way back here again. I don't know how far they're following me for, but I might just be about to find out. Yep, I'm about to find out. All right, we're good. Ideally. No, we are not following the road, game. I don't care what you... Is there an option to disable the horses following the road? Nope. I see the blue light. That means there's at least one that's near death, that is dead, guarding the location. Yeah. 
the Cade Guardian. I'll take it. You know what? I'll take the fact that I can't see it uh, as a good thing. Okay, we got it. One down. Yeah, you're damn right I'm not letting them shoot me off of a cliff. Shoot me off of this tower. I am climbing this tower without concern or worry. And there's nothing they can do about it. I probably don't even need to use my weapons thinking about it because of the upgraded bombs. Oh, no, you don't. Alright, we got it. Okay! It's 20% safer to climb this tower. Oh, fuck. Just when you thought you were all good, you see what's in the distance. But at least we dealt with the ones that were gonna shoot at, shoot at us directly. The, the major threat to my existence. The one over there shouldn't pose too much of a threat because I don't think it has the vision capabilities of the ones I just killed. In the fact that it's constantly moving. So it's not paying as much attention as one that's been stuck in the ground for a hundred years. I'm assuming Guardians also come back with the Blood Moon, but... I would hope not. <laughs> ah, shit! There's one all the way over there. The good news... Is it hasn't noticed me? The bad news is it is indeed over there. And can notice me. If I'm not careful. And most assuredly will. I don't trust it. <laughs> I trust that one more than I trust the one that is over there. Okay. Today in most dangerous location be visited. And I'm going to have to leave this area the hard way because I need to get my horse. But hey, now that we have this done, well, I don't need to. I could just get it from any of the stables nearby. <laughs> And there's the lake. I found the lake we were looking for. What time is it going? Like 10.34. All right. 
So the lake we're currently looking for is right here. I think. It has to have a view of these mountains. A good view of these mountains. There must be a ruin. Somewhere. Well, we got the ruin there. So, I'd have to say, it's right there. A horse is within whistling distance, but so is that guardian. And the area I previously died. Today we're pulling an exceptionally risky maneuver that is going to lead to my death. Yeah, I'm being shot at. What we need to do is get on my horse and get out of here. Because running out is pretty much death. This is guaranteed. myself so I don't get as easily noticed by that guardian over there. Okay. Guardian, so I'll take it, but man, is this a dangerous en endeavor we're going through. Alright, we're good. We managed to get our horse out of there safely. And we just need to get to this river. I need to do.
Oh, there it is. Got it. I'm always cutting it close, every single time. Now, yeah. I found the first location. Hi. What were we doing here? I wonder what did that to the mountain, because that couldn't have been natural. <laughs> way to Goron City. Then, we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent that we still have much more to learn. But to think, that divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. Sure. These divine beasts, so much we don't know. But if we want to turn back Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope. That is also not the voice I expected out of Zelda in the slightest. <laughs> Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. Can you hear it yet, hero? found a memory. All right, first memory. <laughs> All right. So we've done the thing, so we'll get something from this lady, and hopefully it'll be useful. And afterwards, I am more or less lost of what to do besides go for the divine beasts. Which I'm sure I could do it in any order, but like... Mm, I like I like the direction. Sometimes, you know? Ah. Well, I hand over to door, I forget. Ah. And we already know what the enemies are like. Okay, whatever. Alright. <laughs> Please handle it with care. But hey, we got some improved armor. I'll take it. At least armor doesn't have degradation. Uh, there we go. But hey, new armor!
Did not, you may have a different outcome this time around. Properly prepared. I won't fail. Ha, <laughs> ah, how strange. We all have been transported in time, Link, our princess. You must rescue her. All right, so I know the next one, where the next one is located. We can try going for that. There's one that is right in front of the castle, which is right here. Getting over there, though, is going to be another story entirely. But you know what? We can try. And we're gonna do it without our horse. <laughs> As much as doing this legit sounds appealing, it's a... Uh... Okay, so that one's probably going to take some shots at me if I uh, try gliding down, but it looks to be the only one between me and that area of the castle I'm trying to get to. <laughs> If it takes shots at me, I should just be able to drop out of the sky. Hi! Ah, it tells you their exact health. That's possibly useful. Either way. Yeah, Pona 2 can't hear my hear the thing. That's unfortunate. So we're going to have to hoof it manually. waited until this morning, but, eh. We're getting a lot of moblin, moblin stuff out of it. At least it's just the moblins. It could be worse. It could be the guardians, which are totally going to attack me as I attempt this. The closer we get to the castle, the more dangerous the, the area is going to get. See a corpse of a guardian over there. Let's do our best to not upset it. Uh, never mind, I'm gonna take uh, upsetting the corpse of the guardian over that one over there.
All right. Yeah, no, goodbye. Give me that claymore. <laughs> Good news, we made it inside. Bad news, fuck my life. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't bring my horse in here. Okay! Today, a really bad idea I've had. We're gonna continue trying. Hopefully it gave me a save. Hope oh, I probably should have saved once I had killed that guardian. Uh... Good. But fuck you too, game. Hi there. <laughs> Good news, I live. Somehow. Ah, oh, shit, that one's alive. You see nothing. Nothing sees you. Okay. Albums. Let's see, what albums do we got that are specifically in the castle? This is a view of the castle from a side with a tree. That's somewhere. That I thought was from here, but it ain't. <laughs> no, abs absolutely no clue where that is. I don't think this is the horse statue. Well, while I'm here, do we have any other quests? on patrol. I thought it was gonna go back to sleep, but no, it's on patrol still. So I don't think any of the pictures I have have been taken from inside the castle. Uh, that one's alive. That one is still very much alive. How is that thing? <laughs> uh. 
Fuck. Alright. Today in, uh... What the hell is that thing? What the hell is that thing? Give you an idea of how many enemies are around here. Gosh. That one saw me. Okay. I know a lost cause when I see one. Let's get the hell out of here. I think it's time now that I just go for the Divine Beasts. Okay, so, out of curiosity... Go north of to Retsum Forest. Alright. So go north of the... Anapa Village into Retsum Forest. I don't think they want me climbing a, a hill to do that, so we're gonna go to Talon Shrine. Alright, as lost causes go, we actually did quite well. well we got off quite well, all things considered. We managed to get a weapon and a shield. And we killed, the we killed one of the Decayed Guardians. Which is always a good thing. One less defense to worry about. Poor baby. My poor baby, the cat is snoozing. Okay, so we need to go north into that forest there. I see a shrine as well. So that's our next goal, that shrine. Is this a forest or is this a swamp? It's not a lake, it's an ocean. <laughs> the ever famous quote. They're patrolling on the ships. That's kind of neat.
Got him. Got him. What? <laughs> My spear. That's what I thought. My spear. Yeah, it's about time I think I go start going for the, uh... Oh, there's another one there. Yep, there's another one. Why are you running? But <laughs> I'll take your boomerang. <laughs> Funkin Scoop. So what I need to do is... Doesn't keep any water in it. Which is 0 out of 10 more realism and all that. God, it didn't fall. Well, I don't trust it, so go down. Go down better. Ta da! That lowered the water level. I lowered it over here, too. then gave me access to this chest. I wondered why there was a ladder into the water here. My inventory is full. Of course it's full. Let's see. What don't I need?
There we go, silver longsword. I think the annoying part is you have to save the photo for it to count. Sure, there's nothing else in here. Dun, da, 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 dun. All right. I'm trying to find a forest in a... Who knows what hell location. Who knows what... Why are you there? Okay. Who knows what hell. So how far do I have to- not far, I just have to deal with this guardian along the way. And I have... No arrows. Seven ice arrows. Hey, Water Buffalo, you want to go beat up a guardian for me? I will at least give you two pieces of... Two pieces of cake. Okay. Some Rosaldo's hiding over here. I just decided to change. Me not being stupid.
Actually, I have a great idea. I'm gonna save before I do my great idea. Oh, no, 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 it's attached to the bow. It's attached to the bow. Equip that. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that, that hit me. It hasn't been hitting the Hinox this whole time, but it hits me. Okay, then. Apparently those have range, and apparently the range is not the Hinox. But I do at least know that I should be getting rid of the bow immediately. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I need the Traveler Sword. Yeah. Make sure we're not holding anything metal. It's a Hylian, a real Hylian. <laughs> I mean, uh... I mean... You're a Hylian, right? Yeah, I'm a Hylian. I knew it. I so knew it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go see Prince Sidon. Okay. Ah. He's waiting at Ingo Bridge, which is upstream of Zora River. It's a Zora. Please listen to what dear Prince Sidon has to say. <laughs> I know it's sudden, but you'll understand everything once you get there. Trust me, you'll see. All right. I was gonna go to that tower, but the tower. R.I.P. That guy. 
Actually, no, he survived. God. Where's Prince Sion? The problem with you telling me to go see Prince Sidon... I have zero idea where the hell I'm going. And all I see is a bunch of lizards. Oh, oh there's one. Over here. Ah! Oh, hey. It's the first time I've seen one. Ah. I'm the, the Zora. Aren't you a Hylian? You are, aren't you? <laughs> hey, but I have it. Our Prince Sidon is looking for a Hylian like you. Prince is at Indigo Bridge right now. Will you consent to go and see him? I mean, you don't have to when I want to. Mm. Though I kind of like you when you don't want to. Cool. Yes, it's fine. You will indeed go see the prince, even if you don't really want to. Ah. Indigo Bridge, right over there. Find him near that tower. Hylian! I am counting on you. Man, these guys are, uh, persistent. And he may or may not have just been struck by lightning. <laughs> The Zora are very excited to see a Highland. It's like some form of mythical beast for them. Hi. Hello. Oh. Hey, it's kind of weird to see a Highland around here. Indeed. <laughs> Me, I'm a peddler. So, free to go where the wind takes me or the babes or whatever, yeah. Let me introduce oh. myself. I'm Domu. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you. Something? Spoke that Zora over there? Yeah. And that Zora told you to head the Zora domain to meet Prince Sidon, right? Mm -hmm. So called Prince thing is. He ain't no good. First thing he says to me, he says, I've been watching you. And then he says, What's your name? Can you believe that he. I don't need it. <gasps> so, I ran away from all the noise, now I'm here. So, yeah! If you want to see the freak show, go to Prince Sidon. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go for your not looker like me. Hi. Yeah. I thought you were a salesperson, but I guess not. All right, I think it's safe to pull out a sword. Maybe. <laughs> nice Claymore. Thank you for the big sword. Ha 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 Oh, thank you for all the arrows, Jesus. How nice of you. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Divine beasts? I haven't done one of them yet. Vertical services become slick with water when it rains. Okay. Climbing more difficult. 
I'm kind of just going directions, doing whatever until... <laughs> yeah, I, okay. Can this rain, like, end, please? I think I'm gonna go... Ah, You, like, not... Thank you. Strengthen this all about. Ooh. It should be safe to re-equip a shield now that isn't gonna get me killed. Okay. Drop that. Give me that. Thank you. Oh good, the, the, the rain ended. I was about to rest there. Just to, you know, get a reprieve from the rain. There we go. Shooting star. It's too far away, though, probably. Hi! Oh my, how wonderful! You're a Hylian, yes? Yes, I am. Perfect. Must be my lucky day. Oh, uh, I apologize for calling out to you so suddenly. Everyone wants me to go see this guy. I've been searching for Hylian like you for a long time. Prince Sidon sent me to search for Hylian warrior. Ah. Why is specifically a Hylian need to save y'all? And what is your upset? What is your obsession with not wearing? I guess. Pants would be difficult in the water. They're wearing some form of pants. What? What is that? Okay, that might just be scales. I think. <laughs> I think Nintendo just wanted to turn people in this. Oh, good, another another uh, combat shrine. My favorite. Well, how is this one going to fuck with me? Hey, eh, just sword and shield. Uh, da -dun -dun -dun. Let's see what is my. Ow. That hurt. That hurt a lot. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> At least it's not as difficult as the first one I fought. Or maybe it's equally as annoying. Uh, I need a smaller weapon. What is their obsession with shooting me? Oh, that's not the attack I thought it was going to be. I remember the last time they did that. It was specifically, uh... A big laser that they weren't going to stop firing until I killed them. So I killed them. Apparently they have other tricks up their sleeve. Okay, that's two-handed. Two-handed. One-handed. One-handed. Okay. Shielding.
Right. I'm eating the meat pie. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> Ow. Fair point. Now! Now it's doing that attack. Okay. Alright, we're good. inventory system sometimes. Alright. Drop. Give. Thank you. <laughs> I'm hoping for Tears of the Kingdom you just start with a max inventory. That'd be nice. Yes, I know. Test of Strength. Prophecy of Ruin. Heard it three times before. May the goddess smile upon you. I found a horse with a high number of spurs. It just doesn't like cooperating with me, even though we're best of friends. Oh. So I replaced it. <laughs> All right, let's check out with the prince here. <laughs> we found the Zora. Gotta love. Ah, ah. Cutscene. Say hey there, young one. Up top, above you. Are you the prince? He is. Pardon the entrance. But you're a Hylian, aren't you? I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. Sure. Hmm. Hylian, yes, I knew it. Oh, pardon me. Uh -huh. I'm Sud, the Zora Prince. And what is your name? Go on, please tell me. Link? Your name is Link. What a fantastic name. Hmm, though I cannot shake the feeling I have heard it somewhere before. Well, in any case, it's a strong name. To be honest, I've been watching you. I've seen the way you work, I can tell by how you carry yourself that you're no ordinary person, Link. You must be a strong warrior among the islands, correct? That's correct. <laughs> Just as I suspected. I am a Zora Prince, after all. I have an eye for talent that is unparalleled. Yes, exquisite. I have been searching for someone like you for a long while. A man... Like you, Link, who carries himself with power. Right now, Zoro's domain is grave danger because of the massive rainfall coming from Divine Beast Valruta. Please promise you will help us. We need the strength of a warrior. Won't you come to Zoro domain with me? Sure thing. Wow, really? Thank you, Link. You are indeed a man I thought you were. Now, Zoro domain will be saved for certain. No time to waste. Hurry up and head over. Because of the rain, the cliffs are too wet to climb. To reach the domain, you will need to go straight along this path. As I only know you're unable to swim up the river. As such, the path of the domain may be a bit treacherous. You'll likely have a tough fight in store. There are monsters up ahead that attack with electricity. <laughs> Don't give up. I believe in you. 
Oh, that's right. I have something that I would like to give you. Just a small trinket to show I have faith in you. Mid. Okay, that's useful. Mm. Strength that will increase your resistance. Not sure why, but its effects do not seem to work in the sword, perhaps. It was made specifically for Hylians. Oh. It should work wonders for you, though. Go ahead and make sure there is not anything strange going on where you're headed. I'm counting on you. Okay, bye. I feel like Nintendo is just trying to make people scalies with the, uh, the mains of the, with the, uh, designs of the Zora. You know? <laughs> Prince Sidon's design doesn't really stand out to me as anything that's interesting, but... Maybe not that one. Come on, stick your head out. Come on, try it again. That's what I thought. Explosion, huge success. Well, there goes the apple. I do need a travel. Oh, wait, I already have one. Oh, yeah, I don't need another traveler sword. I like how I just can't throw this away. I don't know what I'm doing with this, but I'm doing it. I just want to drop the leaf so I can grab the sword. I need a couple more weapons for the moment. I can get leafs anywhere. Swords are a dime a dozen. Goodbye. He's still alive. I'm impressed. Nothing he can really do about me from down there, though. <laughs> what the hell did I just lock on to? I don't want to climb the tree. The downside of being able to climb everything is, well, trying... is accidentally climbing everything. Shout out to these fish. Can't make it upstream because this, the, uh... Tide's too strong. Uh, 
Yeah, Prince Sidon's design doesn't exactly do it for me, is it? Hey! Hey, Link! Character I'd be attracted to, but there's some others that definitely would be like, I might feel things. And please, things are going well. Ever since the strange occurrence, there have been a lot more monsters around, so be careful as you proceed. And hurry, all of my fellows are anxious waiting your arrival. Well, I can't hurry if you keep harassing me. Zora are oddly aggressive about me getting over here. To deal with their storm bird, their storm problem. I was called I called it a storm bird because that's the thing that creates storms in Forbidden West. I was saying Forbidden or, or Zero Dawn. This isn't Zero Dawn. By the way. It's a lot of work from getting to point A to point B. Of course, my current problem, beyond the horde of monsters, is getting to this location. Game is lagging heavily. Push. Is it better than any current bow I currently have? The answer is yes. Or is it the same as any current bow I have? The answer is also yes. Bonk. <laughs> your whole face. The frame rate is a grand total of two right now. Bonk. The one in Nintendo thought this was a good frame rate. <laughs> It's a good thing the fight here wasn't too annoying. Otherwise, this frame rate would be truly awful. My inventory is full. I think it's a good idea to get rid of one of the, uh... Let's see. Actually, I don't need to get rid of anything! Oh. 
Hey, over here! Sorry for calling you from so far away, but the name's still laid off. We're making good progress. I should be alone soon as hell, but I'll be less fine. I'm sure you're on from here the river, so hang in. You can do it, stay strong. Can you stop? Like, you're really annoying, you know? Jump into the water. Okay, we're alive. God. Stop jumping into the water like that. That's all I needed you to do. No fancy tricks. So simple. Jump. That didn't work. Bye. I'm not getting those resources. I think I skipped a bunch of stuff, which is funny. What if I survive this rock slide and get up this hill? I'm gonna do a quick stretch break. Well, that was rude. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, that went poorly. Uh, and the game seems there it goes. I thought it was got broke for a second. <laughs> Should be. Nah, I don't need the potion. Yeah, I'm going to pause here real quick to take a nice little stretch. A little stretch, a little relaxation. Take a little, you know, everyone just get up and take a little stretch. Drink some water, you know, those things. So I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Uh, that was a good stretch. Now, let us demolish some fools for another about an hour. Hour or so. Oh, still. Give me a quip. There we go. There we go. Oh, Zora's spear only has. Well then. Bonk. need one of them. There we go. Cool. Alright, we're good. You hear nothing, see nothing, or say nothing. Goodbye. Thank you for the arrows. Alright, we're doing good so far. Making progress, murdering fools. Demolishing the innocent. Luto's crossing. Oh, hi again. Look below down. I can't exactly see anyone from down up here. Hmm. Or you not. In fact, I'm going out that way too. She'll meet you there. Whoa, Link! Beware, warrior. A monster approaches him behind. Oh. Maybe if you weren't shouting so much, monsters wouldn't exactly notice us. God. Getting to the Zora domain is very annoying. I look forward to when it's easier.
I can mount the. I can. I can mount it. There we go. We're riding a deer. Did you really have to do a thunderstorm? back here. Douchebag. Thanks for the lightning. Wait, no, 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 I don't want to throw that. Uh, let's see, what do I want to actually throw? The spear! This has its use in breaking boxes. Yeah. Mighty carp. God, this was a mess. But hey, we took out the thing. We got some roasted fish out of it. is that? That's what's creating the storm, isn't it? <laughs> Please don't stop me again, Sidian, or I'm going to cut you in half. And you've given me the perfect axe to do it with, if I need to. Zora's Domain! Oh. 
Whoa! I've been waiting for you, Link. Welcome! Behold the pride of my people, Zora's domain. Now, I shall introduce you to the king. Hurry, this way. Oh good, there's a king. Because the prince has been very annoying. I'm gonna talk to the king and then I'm gonna go do the, uh... Shrine. Hi there. Mm -hmm. Ah, you must be a Hylian Sion, Sidon brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way here. Yeah. Yeah. I am King yeah. Dorfin, ruler of Zora. Hmm? The object upon your waist, is that not a Sheikah slate? Hmm? Now that I've gotten a good look at you, it's all too clear you are. You are the Hylian Champion Link. Do not tell me you've forgotten me. The Hylian Champion, you can't mean the Link, that champion. So that's where I have heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths. I cannot believe it, the Hylian Champion Link has appeared before us. We have met numerous times, I'll have you know. So many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I had heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat. Apparently, you managed to survive. Extraordinary. I lost my memory. Come again? You say you lost your memory, but surely you must remember my precious daughter, Mifa. Yes? Do you? Do you not? Doesn't ring a bell. Mm -hmm. Can't I believe it? Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? You and Mifa were so close. Yeah, you do not remember her. Ooh boy. Link apparently had a, uh, fish GF. Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see the statue? Does gazing upon Mifa's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. Mm -hmm. I dearly hope so. Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Mm. Oh, yes, of course. But first, it is worth noting how remarkable it is to sight on brought a champion here without realizing it. That is quite a feat, my boy. <laughs> that is a good one. Link, I doubt that you have endured a great many trials. You have... They, not that you have endured a great many trials, but unless you hear my plea. Mm. Now then, here, I must inform you that Zoro's domain is in danger of vanishing because of divine beast, Varota. Shall do you the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop the beast. Will you lend us your strength? What? King Dorf and my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a highland for help? Why, the very thought of it curls my fins. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at this very conclusion? He is key to saving Zora's domain, I have no doubt in my mind. Mm. Indeed, Link is a champion through and through. As things now stand, Zora's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule, is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. So... Wind Waker happens because we fail here, I'm guessing? <laughs> I don't get the Zelda timeline. Where does Wind Waker fall into all of this? Because I know at one point or another the entirety of Hyrule is flooded. Which leads to Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass. Which Phantom Hourglass is the only one I've had, only Zelda game I've played to this point. You've forgotten already, my king. We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. And that is not the least of it. Uh. 
It is the fault. It is their fault that Lady Mifa was lost to us. Link. Divine beasts are as great power and the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For Zora, water and air is one. So you would not think this would be quite so critical of a problem. Mm. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to a point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts, as it soon will, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream of us. There, Highland lives are in very grave danger. Mm. The vine beast is crying out once again. That looks like it'll be fun. Mm. Divine Beast Valruta. Your Princess Zelda often studied the Divine Beast. That is the time before the Great Calamity. According to research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulder are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity works. Under control now, these is no electricity coursing to stop them. <sighs> Second, who was quite shock resistant for Azora hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we saw a terrible vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once. The water soon returned to its full force. That's why I went in search of a Halion could help us. Link, I am certain you've already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get these orbs working properly again. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, hero, I beg of you. Help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. I am... Um... What? Princess Zelda instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within. So then Princess Zelda is still alive in Hyrule Castle. Mm. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. The events of 100 years ago cannot be altered, it is true. But if we cannot regain control of the Divine Beast, they may yet prove... If we can, we can, they may prove useful in Silent Clan began once and for all. Huh. I did not know that you had such grand ambitions, Link. Uh -huh. Wondrous, naturally, I shall help too. Once it has stopped rampaging, you could easily climb inside it. Come, Link, let us appease Ruta together. Uh -huh. Thank you, Link. Truly, we are in your debt. Goal is the same, that means our meeting is nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. So long as you can ascend waterfalls just like Azora. Please take good care of it. King Dorfin. Surely you do not intend to give this outsider the Zora armor. Countless generators of our princess have gifted that armor to the one they have sworn to marry. Princess Mifa made that one there with her own hands. It is far too important to entrust to a shady island. He may be a champion, but Mifa had no such relationship with him. So why should he receive such an honor? It sounds like she did. This is too much, my liege. I do not understand it one bit. Mm. Hmm. That Muzo is not easily swayed, once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter, Mifa. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise the aliens. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. That's no hard feelings. Mm. But what shall we do now? I task Muzu with finding the shock arrows we will use- we'll need to appease Valruta. But now he's rushed off in a huff. Mm. Link, do not let his words concern you. I will work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. Thaiden, I suppose that means you are going to tell him. Mm. Link, Muzu is most likely to square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like to try to speak with him. Okay. Doesn't seem unreasonable. What time is it currently? 1217? Alright. 
Oh, where did they go? Hmm, you came all the way here, but in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Hmm. Listen well, Musu, there is something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one who my sister Mifa had feelings for. I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time, but it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Hylian man named Link. <laughs> what? No. You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie. Not this Zora. How could Lady Mifa possibly have had feelings for a Highland like him? The facts are clear. He remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Princess Mifa's statue. <sighs> it is the truth, Muzo. Even though you never knew it, he was ever in Mifa knew it. He was ever in Mifa's heart. I'm s assuming we're about to remember. Hello, nameless. As I said... The skit... Nintendo wants to create a bunch of scalies. <laughs> I guess no, no better way to do it than naked fish thinking, people. This reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child. Always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time, I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. Mipha's voice in Spanish is the best. <laughs> I can imagine. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know. Perhaps we could spend some time together. How's it going? Very first time... Very first time getting this far. But, yeah, it's more or less the first time playing it. What's the matter, Link? Are you unwell? Hmm. hmm? You are quivering like Ashling. What's the matter? Mifa, I remember. <laughs> what? Do not mistake me for a fool, Island. There's no way you remembered her just now when it is most convenient. Huh? In any case, without solid proof, I cannot possibly take you at your word. If you have any such proof, now is the time to show it. Do so, and I, I shall tell you how to get those shock arrows. Yes, as well as anything else you wish to know. Hmm. Hmm. Go ahead and show Musa the Zora our father gave. How is that proof? He's up. We've already been over this. Huh? Huh? What? Eh? What in the? That Zora armor from before. Lady Mifa made that by hand, and yet it fits you perfectly. What is the meaning of this? Huh. Now you understand, do you not? Now you know. 
who her heart belonged to, and who she made the special armor for. The fact that the armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mifa made it for him and him alone. You've always disliked Hylians, even before the Great Calamity. That is why Mifa never told you. Hmm. Now that you know, you must promise to help him save us all, Muzu. Please, tell us where we can find the shock arrows we need. Knowing you, I bet you have already figured it out. Hmm. I never would have imagined she would make that special armor for one such as he. I do not approve of asking for help from a Highland, but I suppose it is our only option at this point. I am a proud Zora. That means I must take responsibility for my unwarranted behavior towards you. Finally! I just completed the game 100% with all the Koroks and shrines. My boyfriend gave it to me on Christmas. Nice! As promised, I should tell you where I can collect as many shock heroes as you need. A tall mountain over yonder called Palmas Mountain, and there you will find Shattered Brack Point. A terrifying creature made his home up there. The awful beast shoots volley after volley of shock ears. Even a single one can be fatal to a Zoro. Uh. Ah! You must mean that Lionel. He's man beast, that one. Beast does indeed wield shock arrows, that is certain. One way to collect them quickly. He's vicious, be sure to be sure. But I am certain Link will rise the challenge. Uh, Murder to peace of the Divine Beast. That's made that you will need at least 20 arrows. Do you think you can gather that many? Uh, Why do you still doubt him, Uzu? I have no doubt he will be triumphant. Hmm. Okay, Link, let's get moving. Fastest way to is to ascend the waterfall east of the main. Which come in handy. Just swim up the waterfall basin and uh, go up the waterfall hmm. from there. I'll wait at the East Reservoir Lake, right by the Divine Beast, to gather. 20 arrows, 20 shock arrows. Come join me. Will do. I shall stop that divine beast onslaught. Also nice to see a streamer with the LGBT flag on screen. Ah, yeah. It's actually the logo for one of the stream teams I'm in. Let's do the shrine, and I'm probably gonna call it a night because it's getting late. Knees Yoma. Yeah, it's an LGBT friendly uh, stream group. So they use that in their uh, thing. Pushing power. Well, this is mildly entertaining. Almost landed on my head. My inventory is full. I mean, I so totally love it. I only need one traveler sword.
At least it stopped. might not be what I'm looking for. The question then becomes, what am I trying to do? There's a rock. I got stuck. This one's a little weird. We got an orb there. Oh, I know exactly what we need to do. I was thinking about it. I'm like, wait, stasis. doing with the orb now that we've moved it out of there where are we bringing it oh I see where we need to get it oh yeah seems reasonable enough make an ice bridge below the wall We don't need to hit it too hard. Well, that didn't work out very well. Alright, let's try that again. This time with a little more feeling. Oh, shit. That's gonna go right off the cliff. Surprisingly, it didn't. Okay! Alright! Now we just need to send it straight down. That should do. Well, shit. God, it is hard to aim a giant orb. Which, when you get close to it, realizes an actual spherical. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Alright, full force into that wall. We did it! We cut, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. There we go. Sweet. Now I just need to get from point A to point B without much fuss. Ideally, we could just... Nope. Okay, this is going to be some minor fuss.
minor. Ideally, it should just roll right into the hole. Sweet. All right, douchebag. I finished your stupid puzzle. And now we have a shortcut back here, which is nice. Yeah, it was a easy puzzle, shocking, unsurprisingly. <laughs> kind of poke the spear in the right direction and hope for the best. But hey, we have a shortcut back over here now. This is where we died. There's where the tower we can't get to currently is. There's another tower right there. I don't know what I was pinning here, but it exists. It's probably a shrine that I saw. Yeah, we made it to... We made it a good distance. Sword. Grab. Where am I from, by the way? East Coast US, currently living in the Mountain States. Also means that it is late as hell. <laughs> Incredibly so. And with uh, that shrine done, I think it's a good time as any to call it a night because it is late as shit and I'm very tired. So let's go. F I've already got who we're going to raid, but let's go raid somebody. On Twitch. Can't do it on YouTube until you've reached a thousand subscribers. Yeah, we're going to go raid Cabe7 Cabe, who's a good bean, good friend. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been Mr. Mark 2. This has been Breath of the Wild. Have a wonderful night now and bye bye.